I got the correct intro anyway. They uh, alternate between the two intros when you have a save file uh, of both characters. So since I have a Jude file and a Mila file, I get access to both. It's just you have to turn the game on and wait for the most recently loaded character's file intro to play. So basically what happened there, the reason why we didn't see the logos was because I had to turn the game on, wait for Jude's intro to play, wait for the title screen to scroll back to the intro, and then turn it on in the little transition in between the title screen and the intro. And uh, then it plays Mila's intro because we have files for both. So that's how I managed it, despite the fact that I am quick loading uh, on today's stream because I didn't feel like playing through a boss fight and taking an additional 15 minutes to get back to a save point at the end of the last episode. I probably should have just ended it at about 2 hours 50 minutes before we went into the research labs, but. I didn't really think about it. I said, nah, I think there will be a save point between here and there. There wasn't. <laughs> so, all that out of the way, here we are again. We will get started in just a couple of minutes. Hell, we're almost there now, if I'm honest. I think I might have actually started a little later because of the having to finagle Mila's intro into existence. I could have just waited, honestly. Like, I could have waited until the stream tomorrow and the stream Saturday and just done two Mila intros, but I don't know. I'll take a drink, and then we'll get going. Alright. Here goes something. Because frankly, we're going to need that drink. We're going to need to stay hydrated today, because if the next screen features what I think it features... We're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, bomb disposal, playing with fire, if you will. So we'll see if I'm correct. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Tales of Zillia, the stream edition. I used the quick save and quick load feature for the first time in the stream last time because I didn't realize that the save point was going to be approximately uh, five feet too far to the right from where I was before I get into a boss fight because I'm pretty sure as soon as we step into the plaza over there we're going to get into a boss fight unless it's over there in which case we did all this for nothing but that's okay it's it's no big deal uh, but you'll notice we're back in Fenmont last time we finally made our way here after dealing with the king of the skies who shot us down on the wyverns we walked here after mostly traveling with the wyverns and today we have to go into Order Palace and ask King Noctigal where the hell he took the Lance of Kresnek. So let's go do that, shall we? Uh, actually, before I go, let me just double check on something. I think I wanted to set a skill with Rowan. I don't know if I... Oh, I did set Conservation already. Okay. wasn't sure if I set that. I just wanted to make sure before we went into the next fight. Hey, Marie, how you doing? Welcome back. Good afternoon, yes. We just got started. We are getting ready to confront the next screen, and the next screen will hold... Uh, I wanted to say a prize, but it doesn't hold a prize because... Oh, okay. So we did the quick saving thing for... Is that another pinkest cultist? Really? It's spread all the way out here? What the hell, man? Anyway, yeah, we did all that for nothing because I can just go to the save point right here. I imagine that means if we walk towards the palace, we uh, will find the girl in red, but I suppose she might actually be up there now that I think about it near the uh, near the school. So, 
I'm going to regular save since the quick save gets erased after you uh, load it up. So I'm just going to regular save so that I have a, a nice little uh, checkpoint in case something terrible happens and I die miserably in the next area. <laughs> I'm going to check over by the school. I don't know if that's where we'll find Agria, but it never hurts to look. If this isn't where we find her, then that's okay. Hey, Jude, is that your school? Yeah, it is. I mean, it was. I doubt they consider me a student anymore. It's surprising I'm able to walk up to it, considering the fact that I'm on their most wanted list. Hell, they made a crude drawing of me and everything. You'd think I wouldn't be able to show my face here anymore. All right, well, let's go to the bridge since I don't actually know if... Like, I don't know where else I'd find her if I don't find her there, you know? She wouldn't be right here because these guys are going to basically tell me you can't go in, right? Yeah. So let's take a look at our map again and see if there's an area we could... I mean, it's not like this place is very big after all. Like, <laughs> there shouldn't be too many places to look. I could go to the Sea Haven, but I, I distinctly remember the fight happening around here, if I remember correctly, so. This is what I get for not, like, knowing where I'm going beforehand. <laughs> I just end up wasting everyone's time. Oh, wood chunk. That's, that's, I was gonna say something about woodchucks, but that's not how the phrase goes now, is it? Well, she's not in the items area, so that's something. Uh, let's see. I could go to the inn, I suppose. I mean, I guess if I got blown up, I'd also want to sleep it off a little bit. You know, that would make sense to me. But I Back in Fenmont after a five-year absence, I never imagined my return would be like this. Yeah, this is a little bit different from probably what you were imagining, wasn't it? Never played this game, have no idea. Most you could have done outside of just looking it up is just figuring it out ahead of the stream by loading the save and then faking the knowledge. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times with other games before. And, I mean, I guess I could have just looked it up in an FAQ, honestly, but... I don't know. Maybe I have to speak to one of the people with the exclamation points over their heads as well. That's a possibility. Because sometimes those people actually have main quest knowledge and they just are disguised as side quest NPCs, you know? I mean, it's not like it matters. I think we're doing pretty good in terms of our, uh, our progress in the game. So if I take a couple of extra minutes to just, like, fuck around, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Alright, so I've been to all the screens and she hasn't shown up yet, so that means she's got to be, like, in a specific part of one of these areas. Oh, look at Jet Black Feather. Like, I have to walk to a specific tile or something. Do I dare talk to the pinkest cultist about it? I guess so. I don't think she was here before, now that I think about it. Not again what? Oh, okay. <laughs> because the drawings are crude. Yeah, and children aren't necessarily Rembrandts, exactly. Okay, well, I guess that's another Runaway Child quest section done. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. I must be getting, like, all the old stuff because I'm in Fenmont, so... Okay, sure. Whatever you say, sir. I'm not gonna force you. You know, she could be back at the lab, too, and, like, I just didn't go looking for her in the correct spot in the lab. Like, they might let me... Oh, no, they don't. Okay. I was gonna say, they might let me go looking here now, but... They don't let me go looking here. And I definitely can't go... Well, I can go down there, but... What's a fire person going to be doing in the sewers, right? Watch me regret not going there immediately. <laughs> nope, not there. And nope, not there either. Alright. I'm going to check this screen again and then we'll... 
I might look it up if she's not on this screen, to be honest, because, like, I wouldn't have the first clue where else to look. In the other room, maybe. I guess if you didn't get all the treasures in the palace before this, you can get them now, but they probably wouldn't be too good anymore. You know, I could also go looking, like, where we first found her in that lab, but I don't think I can get up there from now. I think that that path is completely blocked off, so... Jude said she should be in the city, so I have no idea yet. I'm not, not to worry, we'll find her. It'll just be like some random pixelated spot that I didn't look in or something. So, Like, I know where the boss fight takes place because I've seen it. I, I've seen... it's out, It takes place outside, so she's in the city. It's just... I don't know if there's an event that happens before that that you have to hit up in order for you to find her, or if... I'm just missing something. I'm probably just missing something. That's normal around here, you know. But I haven't checked the entire lab, so I don't see her. While I'm thinking about this, let me open my notes real quick. See if I can drive with one hand here. I wouldn't recommend doing it, by the way. Driving with one hand uh, might be more comfortable, but don't recommend it. <laughs> All right. And now we go back out. At least I have the winged boots, so it's like I'm, I'm not moving at a snail's pace or something, trying to get this done. Alright, back out. Has anybody seen a girl in red? Maybe I should talk to that other lady with the exclamation point over her head. Maybe she'll be able to tell me. Maybe I should talk to the NPCs on the way here. This lady, although I think she was out here before. So. Oh, really? Give it to me, I'll go take it. <laughs> okay, so the west gate shouldn't be too hard to find, basically, because that's the one on the opposite side of the thing of a jigger. So. Boy, I can think of what that is now. Yeah, I'm just gonna look this up. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy V earlier, got the Dragon's Whisker. Congrats, nice. Only after getting two 5% steals, three 5% drops, and two 3% rare steals. I hate this game. Also, Grand Cross is bullshit. It ignores ribbons, or do ribbons not ignore zombie and instant death? I think there are certain status effects that ribbons don't protect against, if I remember right, and that makes Angel Rings valuable in certain cases, because I, I think that zombie ribbons don't protect against zombies, so they... Uh, it makes other accessories actually have a purpose outside of the ribbons just making them superior. Alright, so we are looking at Act 2. We're on to Fenmont, I believe. Or maybe I'm after the Lance of Kresnik by now. Enter the Research Center. Head for the Samsara Trading Post, but instead of going inside, look to the left to spot the girl. So she's got to be... So this is Samsara Trading Post. I think. No, that's Hotel Fantasia. <laughs> Fantasia. Uh, okay, so the Trading Post is over here. So it is. It's just a pixel spot that I just missed on the screen here. Got it. Oh, there she is. There she is. The girl in red. Back I again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I finally get to finish you off. And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Sorry to interrupt your little psychotic episode, but we really need to ask you something. If she's psychotic all the time, does that make any of her episodes psychotic or is that just normal for her? Wait, I have seen you before. Is it possible? Are you Lady Nadia of House Travis? Huh? Hmm. I seem to be correct. But what would compel an heiress of one of the six ruling houses to spy for Ajur? She has a mean streak and she can't get it anywhere else. I'm Agria the Shadowless of the Chimeriad. I'm sure you are, young lady. So you're working for Gaius. What's it to you? Well, technically speaking, we're on the same side. Well, duh. 
You sure didn't you. destroy it, though. That makes us allies. If you know where the lance was taken, tell us. Wouldn't it be funny if she actually worked with us? Like I tell you anything. That wouldn't Please. be a trope, though. You so. want to destroy it for the same reason we do, right? Because it's dangerous. I don't know if that's the reason. You reek. I'm pretty sure she wanted to destroy it because she likes watching things go boom. I got an idea. Before I destroy the lance, I'll use it to blast Rashigul to itty bitty bits. And if she hadn't failed, we all would have been out of a job at this point. What is your problem? Can you imagine if Agria was We're the one that saved the planet from the lance of Kresnik? Like, holy cow, man. Stand in our way? <laughs> you really do stink. Leia, I don't what think you can you argue fired? with her and get on the top of the thing the here. She's the completely bad shit. Just by working hard. I mean, just because it didn't work for you. Sweet reek of yours is giving me brain decay. I'm pretty sure you already had that. With hard work. Zip it, you little pimple, or I'll pop you. Uh, excuse me. Huh. Can can we just fight and get this over with, please? I still remember the agony you caused me that day. Well, I don't have the four anymore, so I'm gonna have to let Rowan do it to, to you this time. All right, here goes something. We can do this. You seriously stink. What the hell? Stand in our way. I should probably also like go after her. Whatever. Time we got rid of the damn stink around here. Oh, she just mystic arts immediately. Okay then. Well, that's surprising. <laughs> you get the hell out of here, sir. Yeah, get them all right here. There we go. That'll work. Just get this guy out of the way, too. Her backup and her can both use, uh, whatchamacallit. I believe they can both use, uh, lemon gels on each other if they, uh, you know, get damage. No. But yeah, she's weak to water, so, um, splash away. And protect the leaves while you're at it. And that's about it, honestly. There, there ain't really much else to her. <laughs> she just kind of dies. Normally she has to overlimit in order to start with her Mystic Guard, but maybe she had the overlimit at the beginning of the fight. Boy, it's a good thing I got Fire Guard, isn't it? Okay, she's in overlimit now, so that'll make my job a little harder. Back up a little bit. Okay, so you want to be away from that. And uh, ideally, she will get out of her thing so that. And she's out of over limit now, so we can start casting. That's it. Alvin, keep using Squall Shot. Protect the Lee's a little bit. And then just keep this up. Like, when they take extra damage from stuff like this, it just sort of makes the boss fights go very quickly. Especially if they're weak to the same things that Rowan or Elise can cast. Mila can do it too, but... Uh... Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, Jude, don't stick your foot in your mouth again, like you usually do, first of all. But second of all, we probably all stink, because we were just on a bunch of wyverns. Like, of course we do. Yes, she used her MA at the start, right when the fight started, and it did 76 damage total. Oh, Agria. <laughs> but but ribbons are so hard to get. You get three in chests, and the only place you can get them is 3% rare steel from Lumira's. Yeah, I know. So you'd think they'd be, like, super awesome, but apparently not. I think Gaius would help the Chimeriad members. They all need help. That's what I'm saying. Like, who thinks this guy's a good leader? Like, when he leaves his people, his elite units like this... 
What makes you think he's a good leader? <laughs> oh, the over limit right at the start of the fight. Okay, yeah, I must not have seen it because I was looking at something else. Oh, well. But uh, yeah, enemies can use Mystic Arts. Uh, she has access to it before we do, as a matter of fact, so probably you're supposed to have access to it by now, but Never stop it's fine. We don't that need Mystic bad. Arts to beat her. We have Splash and Negative Gate. <laughs> Why do bosses- why are bosses like this in Zillia 1? Like, wh what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> why is melee underpowered? And spell spam is just so good. Mila, just kill her already so we can put her out of her misery. She'll just keep coming back. Couple that with my somewhat clumsy sword grip, and well, you might consider being a little more cooperative. Maybe a bit. Where is the lance? Because, I mean, the rest of us aren't a going to let you get up either. Runs under the laboratory. It connects to Orta Palace. Ah, so in the sewers, That's where the this all started. Rules from. Fine. I've never heard of this passageway. Is it still I mean, when did you ever oh, have a reason to go into the sewers? It's caved in now. Hmm. So we can't use it. What if we got a bomb from the crab crawling Smash person crab. over here? One of these days, I'm going to rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! Hey, Leia, I knocked her down a whole bunch in the boss you, fight. Is there any chance you stole a bomb from her? Work, work, I know you weren't in the fight, but... Scrawny body of yours can handle, and you'll still wind up with only two things. Jack and squat! How do you, do you know this? Like that? That You're probably issues. younger than her. Uh, Leia, you don't need to back... Jealous. talk her with the same ball. stuff. We should be careful. I know. Let's check things out first. Look, Negative Gate is one of the Chad spells in Tales games. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty damn great. Works pretty damn good in this game. Agria the Shadowless. Why did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Is that wretched little urchin actually nobility? She's yes, using her noble place as a point of, of privilege. Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Which Most explains why she's an arsonist. Days. Great. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. And at a turning point in her life where she could use family. Mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. But what the hell would she know about naivete? She lost all of hers. I agree. Oh dear. Perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. Maybe we should all go take a bath. Anybody feel like jumping in the water? Fervent skit viewer. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Uh, head to Orta Palace itself. All right, then. You love Leia as a character so much. <laughs> she just doesn't know how to stop people from getting on her nerves, does she? You are all dorks. That is also true. This gaggle of dorks has to destroy a super weapon of mass destruction and save the world. So I guess there are gaggle of dorks. Uh, Rowan, you leveled up, so actually, even though I just saved, let's get your, uh, first Lilium Orb completely finished, just like everybody else. Because you were a little behind for that fight, old man, but that's alright, because you didn't need this skill for that fight, because Dark Guard is for the next boss fight. <laughs> uh, let's see what you've got here. Heal Share Plus, Casting Window. I think I'm gonna want to put Casting Window on for you, specifically, at the very least for one boss fight, so... Excuse me, what else have we got? Spectral Purge, another martial art for Rowan. He gets approximately three of these across the whole game, so that's fun. It kind of works like Condemnation, except it's water element, and you can use it more effectively on the ground than in the air, because Rowan's air game is kind of crap. And then there's Tightening Chains, which, you know, would be pretty cool if it wasn't for the fact that I already had the bell. <laughs> the bell is just so much cooler, in my opinion. So I'll probably just use that instead. But yeah, we'll keep working on life up and mind up. And if we get 5 GP from the next level, we'll be able to get both life up and mind up very quickly. And then we can figure out the rest of this under ring from here. Ah, okay. And he gets Tidal Wave in his next spot here. So, you know, he doesn't even have his advanced arts yet, but here's his arcane art. <laughs> Sometimes the placement of uh, arts in Zillia 1 confuses me a little bit, but... Like, you'd think, okay, here's Freeze Lancer up here. You'd think that they'd have, like, all the advanced arts before they can access the arcane ones, but apparently not. I don't know. Assault 3 is up here, though. Probably won't need that. But it's there if you want it. 
And I think... You know, I think actually what they want us to do is go to actual Orta Palace, like, on the bridge and check it out there first before we go anywhere else. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Let's go to the bridge first and then we'll go around. Tidal Waves is Arcane Art. Man, you sure he's not Rita? He just doesn't say blah 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 when he uses it, so he can't be Rita, unfortunately. That'd be pretty kick-ass, but... Yeah. Oh good, Jude started collecting beast dung again. I thought we broke him of that habit. I need to add it to my samples of dried oh, gels. I figured security would be tighter than this. I don't suppose we could just charge inside. I that, that sounds like a Mila great. thing to say. This is their stronghold. And that sounds like a Jude thing to say. When did you two switch bodies? Is this Freaky Friday? What do you think, Rowan? I'm hatching a plan. Let me stroke Ryan, my beard. What's the matter? I was just weighing options. I think Jude might have the right idea here. Storm the front oh, gates? Hey now, oh, are boy. Are you serious? For once, Mila's telling us to be cautious and not charge in. Does that mean we shouldn't be listening to Mila? More of a hunch, actually. Shall we test it? If it's sure, why not? Rowan, count me in. Oh, you know what actually I'd like to do? Because I'm going to take control of Jude again pretty soon. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to set a shortcut for Jude where I have right Alvin use Guardian Field when I use it. And I'll just use Healer at the beginning of a fight and have Alvin use Guardian Field. So that way they'll both eventually get uh, the stuff. They'll, both, they'll get the nuts eventually. They'll get up to those 400 uses at the same time. And, uh, okay. Good job protecting against that, at least. Oh, I still have the Mystic Emblems on. I should probably fix that. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, can somebody take care of that for me, please? Please forgive us for defeating you and taking your items. That's just spoils of war. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that is how that works, yeah. Alright, so we'll check our Meteoric Waltz uses after this, and then I think we'll be good to go. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, I should probably have Elise use her taunt in some cases to turn Tipo off for her martial arts. Looks clear. Because I think the ending lag on her martial arts might be affected by Tipo being on. So. It could be a trap. Of course, if I use her, I'd just, like, on her martial arts, I'd just be turning her into Carol, basically, but, you know, I don't think that's a bad thing, necessarily. It's probably who her martial arts were based on. barriers that protect Fenmont in the north and south, it has few defenses in the event of a siege. If the enemy army breaches its walls, the city is as good as fallen. Let's hope it has a good port to get the king out of here, then. The majority of them are deployed to fortify the naval defenses in Fort Gondala. That, that seems sense. less than prudent, actually. War is imminent. We can't waste this opportunity. Yeah, otherwise the world may uh, decide that it doesn't need peace anymore. <laughs> peace may never be an option. Listen to Rowan, if he approves of stealing their shit, then we good. Yeah, I guess that's true. That is a fair point, I suppose. Um, Elise, why don't you give us a quick pixie circle? Get us all topped off there. There we go. Uh, and I think all I'm going to do with Elise is I think I'm going to wait for her to get access to Tipo Squash and Tipo Quake, and then I'll start taking control of her a little bit more because everybody else is pretty good on their arts. It's just her that need a little bit needs a little bit more work. That's all. And Shimmering Tall, but that doesn't get any extra effects other than the Universal ones. All right, 342 for Meteoric Waltz for you. I think we established that yeah, you're done with everything except for Guardian Field, which you need another hundred and. 43 uses and Jude your healer is at what 298 okay so you need another hundred and something uses uh, let's take control of Jude again how about that and then we'll set that shortcut that I was talking about so I can keep using beast on him because beast is or not healer hold on guardian field there we go uh, beast needs to get up to 200 uses in order to have the super awesome guard breaking ability that it has once you get it there and, uh, yeah, so we'll do that, and then we'll go after using Elise a little bit after that. And I'm gonna eat something before I forget right now. 
uh, start with... I don't know if I can link encounters in the palace, because it's a dungeon rather than an overworld. So I'm just going to use Tofu Crackers to start with and see if we can link things up or not. There is an Ifreed's treasure that I'd actually like to directly look for inside the palace here. Although, if I remember correctly, it's like near the very end of the palace. So, it's not that it's hard to miss. It's that I probably won't have access to it until after the next boss fight. So, I also don't remember how long this, this dungeon is. A but ring. We'll see. A device that ferries people throughout Order Palace. We must use it to proceed further. All, All right, good. fair enough. Everybody get on the elevator, or the teleporter, depending on what it is. Or the palace. Let's listen to this first. Wow! Or the palace is huge! And it's so sparkly and pretty! I've never seen anything like it! The entirety of Orta Palace was made out of a single lumen tree. They channeled a very large one. into the shape of this giant palace in just five years. This is a single tree? Wow, their spirit arts are incredible. Oh, you guys actually believe me? I was going to say, for once, no. Alvin, you're actually being nice it's to them. It looks like you've true. turned a corner. Isn't that the same thing? But no, of course he hasn't turned a corner. All right, we're warping up, so let's warp up. And hope that we don't lose any molecules in the process, like... Kraken. <laughs> Uh, guys, is the door supposed to spawn a monster? Talk about demon walls. Sentinel Spider. I'm just gonna sharp current again, real quick. Yeah, just a bit. Oh, good, these guys have iron stance, too. Just keep using the bell there, Rowan. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, don't go after don't go after my casters. That's not okay. I can still do better. So probably not a whole ton of uh, encounter linking that's going to be happening in here if it's anything like this. But we shall see. Uh, just double checking to make sure there's no Ifreed's treasures here or anything. I think there's two in the palace if I remember correctly. Alright, well this is the test. Can we encounter link here? Why are there bees nests inside of a palace? I can't believe I'm visiting Orda Palace. It's like a dream come true. This isn't visiting. This is breaking and entering. Huh? Welcome to Rashagal's Most Wanted. Huh? How do you even know what that is? I mean, I know what Rashagal's Most Wanted is, but he was referencing it like a TV show. Now you get back here. Okay, I got the one of the bats. I don't think that's gonna hit, guys. Uh, Rowan, what the hell happened? Did you guys get hit by the entirety of that negative gate without protecting yourselves or something? I don't know if those knives are meant for me or not. I think they were meant for Rowan. Hang on. Good job, Alvin. That way I... Oh, okay. It's just gonna keep happening. Alright then. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> it, it's not It's not stopping. Just dispel it, Elise, real quick, please. Because I'm not gonna get out of this stun otherwise. Thank you. Alright, so obviously we need to go after you. First, after another one happening over there. Uh, hang on. Let's go grab this guy. Where's the caster? Here's the caster. You get the fuck out of here. Uh, not you. You first. 
Thanks, Alvin. I guess at least we get some halfway decent experience from doing this, no matter what, even if we keep getting hit by negative gate over and over again. <laughs> Demon walls aren't bad, aren't as bad anymore. Kid, you would have been ring though. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Negative gate proves it doesn't play favorites. All will crumble to its unfettered might. More like unfettered annoyance in this case. Like, good lord, man, it doesn't stop. I mean, I could stand there magic guarding all day, I guess, but like, seriously, come I feel on. Like I should say something, but I guess this isn't the time. What to Rowan about his predicament? I wouldn't worry about it, Jude. It's fine. It's not fine. He's going to have to probably kill his old friend, but... Uh, lady? Hello? Oh, I can't link you with the other person anyway. Well, nuts to that, then. I guess we aren't linking these two. Uh, let's see. So probably if we go to the sides there, that'll lead to the stairs, which will lead to the next area. So instead of doing that, let's just uh, kind of go room by room here. Let's see if there's anything else that we can grab on the way. I think the worst part about negative gate, when you, especially when you're on the receiving end of it, is the fact that uh, it can inflict a terror status. Oh, an earth cap, nice. And the terror status is kind of a bastard of a status. It's not as good as burn or confuse, in my opinion, but it's still pretty much a bastard, because then if you get stunned by anything, you can't be broken out of stun by your characters doing stun recovery. You have to wait the entire duration of stun. And stun lasts quite a while in this game, so... Sometimes it can be a little nasty. Uh, I have to give up my wind resistance for that. You've got a rune coat, so Jude, you're getting the earth cap. Because <laughs> the earth resistance will be useful for us, so. Oh, I should probably give you back the uh, blue sephira? Yeah, I guess so. How much? Oh, we're over 200,000 again. I'll give it to him anyway, just so we have a whole bunch of extra. Excuse me. And we'll go from there. Forget, what is the lance even going to do besides be an objective for the party to reach? Like, it absorbs mana, but what else does it do? It's a gigantic railgun, so I imagine if they used the mana that it charged up to shoot at something, it would basically be like a nuclear warhead going off. So. It's not just there to absorb. It's not just there to suck. It's also there to blow things up, as it were. Why do you have pincers in a vase? Ma'am, what what is you, what are you guys thinking putting pincers in a vase? Dark cape. Probably won't need that either. Although I think the boss can cast dark arts here, so. I think he has access to earth and dark arts. We'll see. Might be soon enough because I don't think this place I think there's a couple more screens, but I don't think it's that much farther. Oh, a small fruit and cheese. Okay. I need to fight three more battles in order to Get rid of the tofu cracker, and then we can come back for that. So, let's go fight a couple of fights. So that we're not wasting food, because why would I want to leave food for the enemy? It's so overpowered in this game. <laughs> Alright, come on, then. Okay, so do we have any casters? No, no casters. Straight ahead, beast! And smack the hell out of them. Sharp current. And off we go. Nice one. I doubled that up. Outcome. That's okay. We got her. Finish my tofu cracker and then off we go. Spirit symbols are so good, though. Like, I take it off Jude, and almost immediately I'm like, wait, why does he have almost no MP? Or and almost no TP? Yeah, it's for what you think it is for. It's because I took off the, the spirit symbol. Oh, okay. Well, there I go again. And there they go again, because Shimmering Coal. Okay. 
Oh, I did that in the wrong order. That's okay. Pretty strong there, buddy. Thanks. I think so too. You're starting to make us look bad. <laughs> I still like that one. All right. I think the other battle was in here, if I remember correctly. The other enemy. So let's go fight this one. Yep, there they are. Although they have transmogrified into a caster now, so we're gonna have to go deal with that. All right, all y'all come here right now. Stay on guard. Kind of wish we shot in the opposite direction, but that works. Uh, let's see here. That's us, right there. Here's the other guy. Here are you. Might as well use Swallow Dance and Rising Falcon a little bit as well. Just keep slapping his shield, because if I keep overhand punching him, uh, eventually I'll break through the shield. <laughs> or not even break through, just hit him so much over the top of it that he gets a concussion. That'll work too. <laughs> Alright, grab the fruit and cheese. Uh, after I eat some fruit and cheese. I need it. I kind of need to eat one of them in order to make room in my inventory for the other one, so let's do that. There we go. And now we'll head to the next floor. I think we got everything here. Again, the only chest that I'm really worried about in here is the uh, Ifrit's treasure, because it has a very solid skill that I do not want to miss. Oh, okay. No enemy, just demon wall. <laughs> That's a little different from the other guys. Hopefully these guardian mares aren't as bad as the horses from Salt and Sanctuary. They might just be. Ow. I think Beast is using quite a decent chunk of my uh, TP here, so maybe I will have to put the... Uh, what's in the Hall of the Spirit symbol back on. How about an encore? Don't overdo it, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. Because they're continuing to use gels on me. Although that one's nice because it's you know, a pineapple gel. You know, I didn't set that thing that I said I was going to set either, now that I think about it, for healer and guardian field. So I should probably do that too. If I don't immediately get into an encounter right here, that is. Oh, the encounter disappeared. Cool. <laughs> oh no, I did set it, I just haven't been using it at the beginning of fights. Okay, that's fine. I'll just remember to use it now. Why is food so good in this game? Like, who's the gourmand in this party? I don't know, Jude's cooked a couple of the meals, but I don't think he was specifically the one that cooked all this food. We've been buying it from the inns, and it's pretty OP at the inns. Does this go up? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so that just goes down if you need to go down. Which I don't. Again, I don't remember how it works in Zillia 2, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, if it works the way that I think it works in Zillia 2, food is a little bit of a missed opportunity in terms of your party actually cooking it. But I could be misremembering. I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright, you two both come here. No? Alright then, bye. Oh no, wait, I think they might have come a little closer to each other. Nope, never mind. Well then, we'll just run around them, shall we? I think I would eventually like to fight a few battles, though, so that I can get rid of the fruit and cheese and use my... Did I buy another spicy chicken roll, actually? Because that... Okay, I did. I was going to say, that might be a good reason to leave this place, because if I didn't buy one, I'm going to need one. So. Oh, good. I got one of those pineapple gels back. And more jet black feathers to turn in the next time I'm in Sherilton. I'm just going to give Jude back the spirit symbol. <laughs> They're too good in this game. They actually, I looked it up and they actually nerf them a little bit in Zillia too. They only restore, I think, 1% of TP every uh, couple of seconds instead of the 3% in this game, so. That you, that 3%, it, uh, it makes a big difference. You get kind of used to it. I'll go to another helmet, a rune circlet. That's nice. 
Uh, grab whatever this is. More sharp pincers in Zillia's version of Beast's Castle. So, rune circlet. Figures, both of the characters that uh, can make good use of it are out of my party. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to you, Leia, because uh, Mila's already got a coat that gives her resistance to the four elements, so giving you that will give you additional resistance to the four elements. It's one of the reasons, by the way, why we were taking so little damage from all of Agria's elemental attacks, because at this point my party has so much fire resistance, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Sorry, sir, I got mesmerized by that Bakura that I'd like to go fight. <laughs> Although, if I fight the Bakura, I'm gonna have to overwrite my... Uh, fruit and cheese with the beef bowl. So instead of doing that, let's go fight the other enemies in the room first. And then we'll fight the Bakura. Can you imagine the Zillia 2 MC with the Zillia 1 spirit symbol? Uh, yes, it would be broken as hell. You guys keep knocking the bats away from me. It's going to be hard to get these 200 beast pieces. Oh, well. I can always get up to my uh, Swallow Dance and Rising Falcon totals. Not that those matter that much either. An obvious outcome. But we're definitely not getting uh, above level 40 in this palace. I was like, oh, you know, depending on how many enemies we fight, we might get to a halfway decent level in here. It's not going to be like the high roads, unfortunately. What the hell are those supposed to be? Right, we'll be fine, Elise. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we got this. You know, if I don't get negative gated to death again. Okay, mighty plants are strong against dark, so obviously they're the ones casting that, so stop that. Uh, not that guy. This guy. There. Nice two floor. Oh, hold on. Got him. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was going to hit him with the opposite end of that. So, Is Rowan really a full level behind Jude right now, just about? Yeah, wow. I didn't, again, I didn't know the disparity between everybody's experience point totals were going to be this pronounced. That's impressive, actually. I mean, I guess, again, it makes sense. He's an old man. Cut him some slack, but, like, holy shit. Here we go. Oh, I don't have enough guard break to get through this guy's guard yet. Like that. I do have enough to almost get through you, though. Very nice. Retargeted to that guy in the process of doing that. The bats are giving me feathers. That's a little odd. Oh, well. Okay, Bakura. Let's stay over here and hope he turns around so he doesn't see me so I can beef bowl the hell out of this, and then we'll get tons of experience from doing this. If he turns around. The direction that he's rotating is the direction that he can quote-unquote see you. It's where his eyesight is going, so... Never try to walk towards him directly when he's staring at you, or you might be sprinting after him in a second. Not that you can get a preemptive strike on him anyway, but, you know. Let's see. Do I want to run? Hell no. I should use uh, steel as well. Let me do that before I start beasting him up. Let me get back there. See, 357 damage, that's not bad. Spam it. Probably shouldn't, actually, I should probably use a uh, Demon Fist, because that's non-elemental, so I'll probably do more damage than the other ones. And you know what else I should do? Are you ready? 
There we go. Double up on that. I just like the two of them being like, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. They'd make it really well in the SpongeBob movie. Oh, good. I hit him on the opposite end of that. No breaks. Let me get in here, actually, first of all. There we go. Keep this up, and we'll be out of here in a little while. Here. And finished. All right, and that'll get us 3,200 extra experience to play with. And Jude is level 41 now. <laughs> well, that'll work, I guess. And now we're getting four points instead of five, which is a little unfortunate, but I kind of expected that was going to happen eventually anyway, so. Strength is beauty. Okay, sure. Are you really fighting a flying, rotating tile of floor? Everyone yes, sure but that's not too stronger. out of the ordinary for this series. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Are you... Why would you be worried about that? The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to but be toned than to bulk be out of can shape. be... Yeah. Totally. Strength is beauty. I think it's a good look. Buff Mila is the best Mila. I mean, I guess I could see it well, as, like, you, so. if you were worried yeah, about, like, not being as aerodynamic, but... Yoked out bazongas! Oh. Hey, yoked out bazongas. Oh. I'm not sure you'd want that. I don't even know if she knows what that is. Oh, good, and now we get the other skit about bazongas. Uh, apparently, this is where we get to be taught about them, so that's... Great. Yes, stop. Make Tipo stop. Tape his mouth shut, Alvin. I've had enough. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Mm. <laughs> he finally asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. Why do you guys have to make this so difficult? <laughs> Dude, there are times to play it cool, but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then okay, so Jude, Mila told this. you you have big you hands. Have want it, Jude. You have, you have two it. hands. Then teach me about Bazongas. No. I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <laughs> teach oh no. Me about Bazongas. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I sort of. I read about this in a book. It's called puberty. He is way past puberty, Mila. He just never learned much about girls. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. It won't be the last time, Jude. I kind of goaded him myself, so I suppose I'm just as bad as the two of them in that case. <laughs> oh, he didn't go in here. Let's go in here. Then. So, is this part of Tipo or Elise's thoughts? Because he really likes bazongas. I mean, I could see Elise, because she's like, what, 12 at this point? So she's also gone through puberty, and or is in the process of going through puberty as we speak. So she's like, trying to figure things out for herself, too, you know? So, I don't know, I could see it. She's like, well, I don't know if I like guys or girls, or both. That's cool. That's fine, Elise. Be a bisexual icon. Ain't nobody gonna complain about that, unless they, for some reason, hate bisexuality. In which case, I don't know if they'd be playing this anime video game to begin with. A fantastic victory. But that will work. Now all we need to do is get Elise up a little bit on her HP, and then we'll be good. Uh, what do I use? Do I use a lemon gel? I've only got 10 of each. I have 12 melons gels. Let's just use that. There we go. How many gels have I actually even used across this playthrough? Can't be that many. Like, I feel like I've used maybe about 6 or 7, although I think my party members have used a few more that I just glossed over. So, excuse me. What if she wants to be an NB icon? Like you said, guys, girls, or both. What about neither? That is true. She could also like neither, but 
I don't know, it seems like she's exploring the both option at the moment. But she could eventually decide, you know, maybe I don't like either one. If she was feeling like, okay, well, I don't know if I like either, would she really be thinking about Bazongas? I'm not certain that she would be. <laughs> that fucking inhale before he shouted that, too. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty great. The the silliness in this game is definitely pretty on point. Now stop that. Right now, I know exactly what that's going to be. Don't even think about it. Oh, good. He can sever Link just like the uh, unknown mutant from the boss fight. Or no, that was brute hard. Never mind. Can do, Elise. You did very well there. Got it. Yeah, you two. We're so good together. Not bad, you two. Oh, a couple of specifics as well. And I just ran out of beef ball. Fantastic, because now I can. I think since there's a save point right here, I think I should probably be thinking about <laughs> using the spicy chicken roll. Because I'm pretty sure there's a boss on the other end of this door, so we'll we'll work on that. Just double up there. Uh, a couple of orange gels, I think, are in order. There we go. Get everybody ready to go. And now, I think we Lilium Orb, and then we go through the door. Orta Palace, the place where Negative Gate thrives. Yeah, and Labari Hollow also had some Negative Gate casters, but we didn't fight a lot of battles there, because I was like, I don't feel like dealing with this when I'm on the receiving end. <laughs> So, uh, do I get life up and mind up first, or do I get the entire lowest ring first and then work on those? That's five, so everybody else will have access to that. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should do that, just so that, that way it doesn't feel like everybody's left out, you know? I don't need life up and mind up that quickly right now. Like, if we get them after the boss fight, which is probably what's going to happen, then, like, for everybody else, that is, then I don't really think that's a huge problem. So. For Jude, we'll get them right now, though. So. And what else do we want for you? I think you only have one more art that I actually care about sticking on your list of arts, so I don't know that I'm really keen on any of this stuff. I'm just gonna go down here. <laughs> go down here and grab uh, Heal Share Plus and Whirlwind Snap while I'm at it, because why not? So, one more there, and then after that is when we work on getting... Oh no, two more I want to set on there. Savage Roar is one of them, and then there's one more, actually, that I'd like to set after that. And uh, Unfortunately, that one doesn't get access accessible until the fourth tier of the second orb, and I need to use it a total of 400 times in order to get the maximum unique effect out of it. So, that one's going to take a little while. <laughs> so, Now, as for Alvin, it might be worth it to get variable trigger first instead of worrying about life up and mind up. But I'm not going to be getting that until his next level anyway, so I guess I'm not really too concerned about it. So there we go. And as for everybody else, uh, same deal. Elise might actually be uh, high enough up to do that. So. You never found the treasure? Oh, that, not the... Um, if you're talking about the Eifried's treasure that I was talking about, that one's actually inside of the same room as the boss, if I remember correctly. So we can't find it until we fight the boss. So, so I'm not too worried about it. Or there might be, you know more palace to go, even though there's a save point right here, in which case I'll have to go back out to get more spicy chicken roll. But oh well. Not a big deal. And one more. Okay. Finish these out for all of you. Oh, Leia, you're already level 41. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. Leia seems to have a pretty high level compared to everybody else as well, so I guess that's another reason that you could say she has a bit of an advantage in some uh, capacity, because she just can equip life up and mind up whenever <laughs> earlier than everybody else. What is that one up there? Staff Rain, okay. Uh, swallow Flight and Heal Share Plus, I think. Excuse me. And then we'll go from there. 
Okay, so that's everybody orbed up. Let's equip our uh, extra skills we just got because we got a bunch of extra SP. Stick those on, and then I think that's about it for Jude, though. I don't think I got anything else skill-wise. Well, I guess heal share plus, so I might as well equip that for now. I wonder if that stacks. Well, it's not a partner skill, but, like, I wonder if one person has heal share plus. No, I guess it wouldn't because it'd be, like, one person has heal share plus and the other one has it, so they both get 50%, but it wouldn't be given to anybody else, so. Uh, I don't think I got anything for you. Or for you, I think it was just life up and mind up for Jude and Leia, so let's equip those. And now we're good. Eat the spiced chicken roll in the hopes of something being on the other side of this door. Grandmaster's Air and Purple Belt. Oh, it was a Purple Belt once. Actually got almost all the way up to Black Belt when I took karate back in high school. Never quite got there, though, because the tests were $1,500, required you to go to some ass end of the country to do, and we never had spare money, like, almost ever in our lives, so. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is the audience chamber, so this is where the Eifried's treasure is, so let's go inside and take our audience with the king. I probably should have switched to Rowan before I did this, because he's the most appropriate character to fight this it boss fight some with. rats have snuck into the palace. They should be here any moment. Who are these vermin? Why are street rats coming into my palace? So you've arrived, Maxwell. And looking much more spry than I expected after your injury. And how would you know about that? I guess this guards told him. Oh good, you know where the lance is. As soon as I'm finished with Maxwell. Fantastic, so you can tell me whether you like it or not. Gilbert, will you really raise your sword against your master? Haven't you heard, Noctigal? He's his own master My now. My only master is Lord Klein. There or is that. No other. Although, the Klein is dead now, so... Such insolence. If you return to my side... Once I thought you had the potential to be a great king, but now I see you've become unworthy of the throne. He does seem like a bit of a tyrant. This world is more worthy to sit upon this throne than I. And you by what metric did you measure that? You lack the qualities needed to govern humanity. Foolish girl. A king only needs one quality, birthright. He is born into his power. So he can mm, sacrifice kind of doubt people? that. Of course. Again, that is my birthright. Now is this written anywhere? Like, obviously in your laws, you but like, before no you made the laws, no no was that written either. anywhere? Foolish boy. Has Maxwell's impudence rubbed off on you as well? More like finally you opened his eyes. You want. Do you have any idea how much your actions have tormented Rowan here? Any idea at all? Jude, please. You people think peace is some sort of right. You are mistaken. Peace is a luxury, not a right. Surrender yourselves into my service. That is your duty as my subjects. But if we do that, there will never be peace. You are beyond so, salvation. no. I'm through wasting my time with you. Let's put an end to this right now. Uh, guys, is he boosting through his lance? Or is he just powering up? By the lance of Kresnik. Great, so he's going to use the four Once great spirits on me. That no, that's not a thing. were two friends who traveled along the same path in life. However, now it seems we've reached our journey's end. I just it's want to life. die, Rowan! Just let me die! But your beliefs have become a royal pain to all of us. They're just illusions of grandeur. Well, you're right I about that. I can't that someone like this could be our king! And you can't? Time, someone knocks some sense in you. Do you not read the news, Leia? Jude and Mila and everyone. I have to protect my friends. Up with his head! Up with his head! Well, he's about right so in that to put department. To your ambitions. And that would be us. Prepare yourself, Noctigal. 
Okay, here we go, in the final battle, uh, not really, because we still have to destroy the lance, against Noctigal. I kinda doubt that, big guy. I kinda doubt that very much. Alright, so first things first, switch to Rowan, because, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't want to not be playing Rowan in this fight, so. Uh, they're, they're kind of stuck, so let's give them a second. You know, I don't think I gave them back the uh, spirit symbols, did I? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I gave them the mystic emblems, and they're just sort of keeping them. Oh, that's fine. So be it. It all ends here. Yeah, go heal there, at least. Okay. He's on me! Go the other way, Rowan. There you go. Oh my god. Hold, hold the phone, Elise. That's not good. <laughs> uh, she must have gotten hit by a whole bunch of that. Alright, we'll keep we'll keep him busy, Elise. Just heal yourself for now. Oh god. Oh, I've been I've been struck. Ow. Uh, yeah, and whenever you're ready, Elise, that would be thanks. Nice for that too. Maybe I should just have Alvin using Squall Shot, and we'll just do this while Elise keeps us all alive. Uh, Elise, if you're gonna do that, just cast negative gate to keep him busy. There you go. Okay, so now we need to move the hell away from that. Thanks, Jude. Get us all blown up in the- oh my god, here she goes again. Uh, okay, so... yeah, item use is off for now, so. Are you ready? No, get back here. Oh, he's still under him. No, he couldn't be under him because he used his mystic heart. So that means he's down again. Uh, Jude, why don't you use the, the life bottle again? I was kind of hoping I was far enough away for that, but that's okay. I should probably also use, like, Fireball and Shimmering Tall now that I think about it. See if I can inflict burn. Well, at least that's not Tyrant Spear. Speaking of which. Yeah, I was gonna say, Elise, maybe go heal yourself while you're at it. Okay, but if you're gonna pixie circle Jude, step into the circle yourself. Good lord. You're just making this harder on yourself, gal. I should probably uh, get the hell out of here, though. Oh, that's Dark Visitor on me. I didn't realize he was hitting me. Well, at least he didn't kill me in the process of doing that. Nah, I didn't get the magic guard off in time. Thanks, dude. Okay, back to this again. Yeah, don't, don't use Tifo Roar there, at least. Just, just use Negative Gate. It'll, it'll work out better if you do that. How about you fall before us? It looks like you're almost there, so... Yep, there it is. Why is he weak to water? Why are all of these bosses weak to water? Uh, because Rowan needs a moment to blow everything up. That's why he got the thumbnail on today's stream alert. <laughs> Rowan needs a moment to take all of them down. Oh, Black Onyx, that's kind of nice. Or it would be if I didn't already have Alexandrite. But, more level ups. Very nice. It'll, I think it'll slow down, though, later, because there will be less bosses. Well, now that I think about it, actually, that's not true. I think there's a decent chunk that are still weak to water or earth coming up. Then you will be unwittingly handing Rashikal over to Gaius. 
And I mean, it's not like it matters to Rowan. Even if they're weak to wind, he can still use his art tuning to just blast them. So. But Splash is one of the best arts in this game. So, like. Absolute <laughs> power! How do you figure you can't even turn it on right now? Mankind wasn't meant to wield such power. It would destroy the world as we know it. And you as well. I mean, it kind of already has destroyed him. Mila, wait! This man is Rowan's friend, so Rowan should handle it. Force him to kill his friend? I, I guess. Time for a little severed fate, Rowan? Literally this time, instead of just the art? Noctigal, a country without its king is doomed to chaos. You have turned away from the responsibility you must bear. Hey, damn it, that is cold. It is. If she was saying, no, you should Noctigal. kill him. I think what she's saying is, no, he should handle it the way he thinks is correct. So. Ilbert, you're not saying that I should... Let us build a new future for Rashagol together. You mean you would bear the burden of my crimes as well? Isn't that what friends are for? It's friends don't let friends it's... commit war crimes, Noctigal. We didn't learn that until just now. Rowan. Do it. Yes, Master. Do what? No, oh, no. Ow! Well, that's not going to heal very well. Who is it? Who's there? We should probably like find cover from the icicle spears. The lance of Krisnik. Wait, icicle spears. I've heard Don't something about, about this before. Me. We must hurry. We must hurry, but before we do that, we have to search the entire throne room for that Ifrit's treasure. <laughs> Sorry, Noctigal, that's not exactly the most uh, the best thing I can do to honor your legacy. Insurrectionist. And also he disappeared, just like every dead body in Final Fantasy II, so that's fun. Must be an Araboth now. Noctigal's death. It must be awful to lose a friend. Poor Rowan. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm fine, everyone. Fighting such an impassioned battle gave Noctigal and I a chance to understand each other again. We, we haven't have done that in years. Paths. But it was good to remember a time when we called each other friend. I have no regrets whatsoever. I see. Then there is nothing further for me to say. Do you think that King Noctigal felt the same way? For Owen's sake, I think at the end I of sure it, so. yeah, probably. Yes, I do believe he did. Thank you. All of you. Because at the end of it, he realized, no, you know, Rowan might be right. I might have been a bit of a bastard. All right, now, if I were an Ifrit's treasure, where would I be hiding? Hmm. Find one of the pillars, probably. If I could even get to them. It's kind of dark in here, too, so that's not exactly going to make this very easy. <laughs> like, seeing where it is, you know. Not going to be easy. It could be on this side, though. No. I remember the walkthrough saying it was here. But where was here? Where in all of Damon's Hall? Um, I should have kept the FAQ up, because now I'm going to look it up. Wow, someone finally impaling someone with ice magic? The one thing it never gets to do? What? Yeah, why did the legendary explorer hide treasure in the royal palace? Honestly, in this case, I think maybe Noctigal just decided, Oh, you know... That seems like plunder that I can take advantage of. I am king after all, and he just tossed it in here. Maybe. I don't know how true that actually is. So. Alright. Horde Palace, Noctigal. Uh, by the way, according to the FAQ, if you have Leia out and you have her do item steal on Noctigal, you can get an Amethyst, which is good against Earth if I remember correctly. Oh, it's after the warp. Okay, so go through the warp behind the throne. Head south at the top of the steps. Check the left wall to spot an Ifrit's treasure. And it's a very important one, as you'll see in just a moment when I go get it. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure we get this one because I don't think, once you leave the palace, I don't think you can come back. 
I could be wrong about that, but I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, here, Rowan, why don't you have a pineapple gel? And Jude, you have this apple gel. Use a few more gels, because why the hell not? We still have one battle with spicy chicken roll left, too, so if there's any enemies, we can uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so the eye for each treasure would be right over here. Yeah, there it is. Don't miss this one, because it has the skill tome Absolute Defense, which gives everyone in the party access to the Impregnable Guard skill. Now, at this point in the game, only a little over the halfway point. <laughs> and your guard can no longer be broken. Uh, at all, as far as I'm aware. This is something everyone can equip. It's a partner skill, so you don't even have to have everyone equip it. I'm gonna equip it anyway, because I have spare SP to do it. But, yeah, uh, g good luck, GG game. Because <laughs> now if an enemy, like, you don't even have to worry about, like, oh, okay, well, I should snap pivot, because that's something that I should do with the mechanics of the game. Like, yes, I should probably do that, because, you know, that's a mechanic that the game has, but, uh, yeah, no, you know, you don't have to. Oh, that's busted. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> And again, I don't want to miss it here, because as far as I'm aware, it's missable if you don't get it now, so... Uh, try to get it now. You know, so that way... I would say, so that way you don't have to come back for it, but you can't come back for it as far as I'm aware, so... You know, that wouldn't really help us. Uh, do I keep playing as Jude for now? I think because I'm still working on Beast a little bit, so I think I keep playing as Jude for now. Can I get you to link with this person, or is this too far away? Might be too far away. We'll see. Come with me, Mr. Mage. Take you on a double date. Is that a no? I think that's a no. Because that's his extent of distance, and that's her extent of distance. So, uh, the spicy chicken roll is basically going to be wasted on whichever single battle I decide to do right now. It's going to be this one that gets super preemptive strike out of this. Oh, I'm not like I'm good to mess with playing with the pool outside again with the dog. Oh, okay. Now. A most excellent rhythm. I guess I got 824 experience out of it, so it's not that much of a waste, but it is somewhat of a waste. I mean, there's like 15%, or maybe it was 20% of the Final Fantasy V bestiary that's missable. Yeah, it's an achievement to 100% the bestiary. Yeah, I feel like they put that in there because they were just like, yeah, you know, like, that's just kind of a thing in a lot of the achievement-based Final Fa like, the Final Fantasies with achievements in them now is complete the bestiary, so. Oh, that's what it is. They were dumping out the old water and putting new water in the pool. Okay, I can hear the hose out there. Sorry, I'm just listening. Again, it, it's one of those things where it's just like you hear it, because I'm so used to listening on, for fight already. I'm gonna lose my edge here. when dogs are yapping like that. Because it was always something where it was like, oh no, that means trouble. Uh, or the dog is, you know, there's something else going on out there. Oh, blue rosemary. But in this case, she's yapping because... I don't know if I mentioned it. We, uh, She was a rescue from a puppy mill. So she doesn't really know how to be a dog at the moment. So she's kind of like just feeling everything out and there's a lot of stuff for her that's scary right now and i imagine that's why she's a little more vocal than every other time so uh spirit symbols back on everybody i think oh yeah i only have three because i gave jude the blue sephira that's right well uh let's give him the blue sephira back then i'll have to get a fourth spirit symbol <laughs> uh let's see there it is all right that's that up through here. Now that we have Impregnable Guard, let's get the hell out of here. There's also an achievement for opening every chest. I hate Final Fantasy V Steam achievements so much. Yeah, that seems like a lot, actually. Too late. Why is there another throne room above the throne room? Oh, this is where they were storing the lance. Maybe. I mean, it's a gigantic area. It's gone! What did they do? Warp it or something? Are you sure it was even here? Not to go Can you feel the, the four lance, spirits in the air? Oh, so that's why it was, because uh, he pulled it from up, up above us, above him, above well. a floor. Maybe he a floor be. above him, there. <laughs> Sorry. If the lance made it outside, it could be Pretty soon I'm going to turn into Crazy Dave at the rate that I'm talking. Let us leave the palace. 
So, all we ended up doing was killing the king. We didn't even get what our main objective was in the process of going here. Fantastic. <laughs> A cold shadow. I can't figure it out. Who could have fired those arrows that killed Noctigal? I have you, no idea. You can't? But for an instant, I sensed a strength that was equal to the power of a great spirit. Because well, I feel like at this point we should be putting two and two together. Since they're trapped in the lance. Wasn't there also talk about a great spirit-like presence there we in go. attack on Himmel? Alvin's two putting two and two together. Either the enemy has found a way to control the four, or there are other great spirits of which I am not aware. Mm. So we're going to end up fighting a great spirit either way. Wonderful. We just don't know if they're going to be artificial or not. But fantastic. Oh look, all the enemies are gone now. Well, I guess if you missed any of the treasures, you can go back and get them now. I'm gonna actually double check this floor and see if there's any treasures that I missed in this room. Probably not, but you know, we shall see. I believe in the process of killing Noctigal and leaving Orda Palace, according to the FAQ that I was just looking at, that's the end of act two of four of this game. So we're actually, Quote unquote halfway there, but there's less objectives in Act 3 and Act 4 than there were in Act 1 and Act 2, so. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we're making it, we're making it at a good clip, we're moving at a good pace. Yeah, wait, this game is four acts? Yeah, total. Yeah. According to the FAQ, anyway. I don't know how true that is. I, I don't really know if... Maybe that's in the event list. Like, there's acts that are structured in here or something. I don't know. But we're on the last mission of the second act according to the FAQ. So that could just be a way that they use to structure their FAQ as well. I mean, I don't know. Like, they could be separating it in acts because it's like, here's the big objectives that are being completed as you go. I don't know. Back into Fenmont, though. Feels like we were just here, and we were only in that dungeon for about an hour. <laughs> halt! Identify yourselves. Uh oh, this ain't good. Anybody take an identifying badge in the process of hey, hold on. leaving? Aren't you? Aren't you Chief Hilbert? Oh, good. That'll this get us correct. a get out of jail free card. If they I don't know the news. Let me through. What is it? Azul's army is on the march. The enemy force is said to exceed 50,000 men. Holy shit, where'd he get all those people? The war well, uh, started. And the leader of Rashigal is kind of indisposed now. Nice job breaking it, heroes. Fuck, every time you see a game that long, you flash back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. <laughs> I, yeah, I suppose that would probably, uh, be something to think about. Oh, good, more anime cutscenes. Getting ready, Gaius? Order the troops to attack. And For maybe to I was going to say, don't victory. teach the troops the Forward symbol that the Nazis attack. used in World War II. He didn't quite put his arm up that high, but that doesn't exactly give you brownie points here, Gaius. Oh my god, those people on horseback in this game have more frames per second than the ones in Fire Emblem Three Houses in the anime cutscenes. What the hell, UFO table? What kind of witchcraft are you using? <laughs> Sorry, I had to get my digs in where I could. I just remembered that in the process of seeing the, uh, the horseback units. Oh, apparently all of the soldiers were already out on the battlefield. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Who's giving the command to attack? Is it his second in command? Wasn't he busy? Is it a spoiler for me to say he was busy instead of giving commands? Probably not. Right? Well, here they go. Just don't get lanced off of your chocobo after saying, Decurion! Sir! 50,000? From Sapstrath? Oh. No, they're coming from north of Finmont. They're in Pezabel Marsh. Oh, that would impossible. make a little more sense. How do they intend to march across such impassable terrain? By spirit climbs have stopped shifting. Walking really Chief slowly? Gilbert, we are unable to decipher their method of transportation. What do you mean? Can't you see what they're this doing? Is bad, isn't it? All our soldiers are concentrated in Fort Gandala and at sea. 
I love how we just killed the king and now we're basically taking over the war that he started. You need not worry. Deputy Chief of Staff Gillen foresaw this attack. He is transporting our new weapon to the battlefield as we speak. Oh, you mean the weapon of mass destruction that will destroy everything we know of? I ordered you to carry this message. The Deputy Chief himself. Is something wrong? No. You are dismissed. We should get to Fezabel Marsh before very bad things happen. <laughs> UFO Table is a studio that's full of gods and goddesses amongst man. Have you seen Whatever any of the anime they've worked on? Unfortunately, no. This game is my only, and Zillia too, is my only exposure to UFO Table. I haven't really watched much anime at all since about th three years before this game came out. Two? Three? Something like that. Traveler of Rizzi Maxi. Crossing the Why marsh. Why are you always fighting without me? Well, if you insist on leaving me out, so be it. I'll Come bring on, you two into the battle already. next time. I'm oh gonna lose my, my edge here. I'll bring you two into the battle next time. <laughs> Has our eminence tactician figured out how the enemy plans to cross Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid not. During the renowned season, the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible. But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilter. The marsh flow should remain active. Won't that make it hard for us to get there? The marsh's many bodies of water are linked together, with their water flowing through underground channels. If you were to fall into one, you'd get carried off to who knows where. Oh good, like a cenote. I'm a great swimmer. I don't think this is gonna matter. It could be ten years before you're finally pulled to the surface. Yeah, yes. definitely, exactly like Don't a single thing. Don't know if I can hold my breath for that long. No, the probably not. Intends to cross it with a full army. That leads me to one conclusion. That Arjul has a tactician even greater than the conductor himself. No, yes. they have waterbenders, Rowan. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say no, they have waterbenders, and that's how they're keeping the water channel from being a problem. <laughs> Uh, cenote, by the way. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. Apologies to any of my viewers from Mexico if I'm saying that incorrectly. Please correct me. Um, they are channels of water in gigantic sinkholes that exist primarily in the Mexican peninsula. And they're pr primarily focused there because that's where the meteor that killed all the dinosaurs impacted. And it's just like cracks that filtered underground from all of the damage that that meteor did. So, there you go. The more you know. My guy, they've been referred to as Unlimited Budget Works after people saw their incarnation of the Unlimited Blade Works route of Fate Stay Night. They are just really good at what they do. I mean, I can see it, honestly. I've seen what they've done in this game, and it's a treat for the eyes most times. So, uh, Do I give anybody this blue rosemary, or do I just sell it for 800 I think I just sell it for 800 I don't really see myself needing it. we got to go get more food and get rid of this stuff, even though it would probably be nice for the next one of the fights coming up. Not the next one, but... Pretty soon. Although I guess I have an opal, so if I need it, I could just do that. And I'm also getting rid of these emerald rings because I don't see them being as useful as the spirit symbols. <laughs> so uh, I don't really need think I need the holy symbols too bad, but I'll hold on to those just in case. <clears throat> Excuse me. And get rid of my beads. And we have 7,000 million billion uh, gold at this point, so definitely going to go to the accessory shop and buy another spirit symbol, I think. Okay, beast materials are times three for this, so let's get this up to 41 real quick with Jude's Beast Dung Collection. There we go. I am literally never going to run out of this stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. And you know, I think the item shop only needs to go to level 50 as well, now that I think about it, because once we get it to 50, I think almost all of the good stuff is unlocked at 50. I think there's like Omega Elixirs and one other thing that you can unlock later, but I don't really care about any of that stuff, so, you know. All right, bird materials here. We've got plenty of crown feathers now, so that should make this pretty easy. And we might be upgrading a little bit as well, since we've got all this stuff, so. Okay. And then the armor shop, leafy materials. So let's do those. Use a whole bunch of our herbs. There. Now we can get an earth cap now. So we're a little ahead on the shop because otherwise, normally you wouldn't be able to get the earth cap since we just got it from a dungeon for a little while, but that's okay. All right, uh, a couple of things that we can buy. Uh, I said I was going to skip the insect maw and go straight for the gigas gauntlets, so... You have the solid edge. We'll wait for the porous blade as well. Same thing for morning edge. 
this. Yeah, we'll wait for the compass rod. We'll wait on the abbey. So I guess we won't be making too many upgrades since, you know, I'm waiting for the next new stuff. Although, should I wait for the next new stuff? Yeah, because we're not really struggling for our damage at the moment, so I don't think I'm really too concerned. I'm a sponsor now. A bunch of other places. Almost reminds you, you've anime that studio worked on in your backlog of media, that and a few DS games and some PS4 games. I'm so screwed. I can't finish games fast enough even when you blaze through them. Yeah, that's a that's a large backlog to have to work with there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, are those on discount yet? No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. Mila's already got a ruined thing, so she's good in that department. Uh, Nightmare Helm is not on discount yet either. We might not be getting any upgrades if this keeps up. Uh, the White Ribbon is on discount, though, so I'll buy that. Magical Ribbon doesn't give us any defenses. Defenses start becoming, like, a very solid part of the, uh... Oh, this is a good reason, like, the, the elemental defenses. It's like, oh, this is a good reason for me to buy this stuff now, because then, you know, having the ability to take less damage from elements is obviously pretty good. The only thing then you have to worry about are physical attacks, and Solid Guard kind of helps with that, so... Like, I don't know if I'll ever really need to take the Rune Mail off of Alvin, honestly. I might take it off at some point if he just needs the raw physical defense, but I don't really see myself needing it all that badly. So, all right, who did those equip to? You've got that. You've got that stuff. you got the Earth Cap, so that's good. Earth Arts will do very little to you now with Earth Guard, paired up Earth Guard, Earth Cap, and Rune Coat. <laughs> you might absorb Earth at this point, frankly, from all of that. Okay, you got the white ribbon, and you guys are still good. Okay, so I guess we're not doing as much upgrading as I was thinking we were gonna do, because I'm not really making a whole lot of purchases, actually. So I guess that might be a good reason to maybe buy weapon upgrades then, since I'm not really making a ton of purchases. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's see here, spirit symbol times one. Very affordable now, too, so. And Jude, you can have this because I don't know that I need the blue Sephira all that badly at the moment, so. Because we're getting good money at the moment anyway, so. Uh, any items that I need before we go? I just love how it's so, like, calm before the storm here at the moment. It's like, there's there's very little for us to concern ourselves with for now, but as soon as we walk out into Fezabel Marsh, it's going to be like, okay. Well, we're in the soup now. Oh, you can buy hourglasses? Oh, this game is over. <laughs> this, that's There's no way, man. This Hourglasses are used for a very specific glitch that was found this year that works on certain boss fights, actually, even. It works on regular enemies, too, but it's also used to help cheese a couple of boss fights. I'll try to demonstrate it, but I've never actually done it before, so it might be harder to do than I'm making it sound like. I'll buy a few of these as well, because why not? And you know what? I think I actually am going to go buy some weapons since we've got so much extra money left over. Let's see what my pocketbook looks like after I've bought these. And then I'll I'll let you know a little bit better. <laughs> uh, that's on discount, so grab that. That's on discount, so grab that. So is that. Uh, that is not on discount. And this is on discount, so... But you know, the Bison Bat's probably coming up in like a level, basically, so... Ah, whatever, we'll buy the Jinguban anyway, because why not? So I guess everybody but Rowan gets an upgrade for now. That's fine. And there's the Bison Bat. <laughs> this is what I'm so worried about when it comes to weapon shops, though, because it's like you buy all these extra weapons and all of a sudden you just unlock the next one. <laughs> oh, well. No big deal, I suppose. All right, Grand Gauntlets we'll get rid of. Solid Edge we'll get rid of. Geo Crusher, Precious Wand, Silver Rod. And actually, the Abeya is now on discount, so let's buy that for Rowan. And we still have plenty of money in my pocketbook. Good, very good. I think we're going to slow down a little bit All on right. weapon upgrades now, now this though. Is some pretty nice gear. You really are cutting an impressive figure. I have insect, uh, insect mouths attached to my arms now, Mila. I don't know what you mean. Ta-da! Look! Look, everyone, look! Check out my awesome new duds! Not bad, not bad. Might look a tad classier if you cut off the price tags. <laughs> oh boy. 
Look, you need to breed a Carnivine for your solo run of Pokemon Pearl. I will prove to you that you can beat the entire game with just a Carnivine. I mean, I can believe it, honestly. Like, Cynthia would probably be troublesome for any solo run, but I could believe it. I could see it happening. I don't actually know how much, like, how good Carnivine's move pool is off the top of my head, though. So I guess I'd have to look. But, I mean, if it gets Earthquake, like, mm -hmm, that, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Grab those, and uh, how are we doing on shops now? Okay, so the food vendor still hasn't gone above level 50. I'm kind of surprised at that, but I guess we haven't bought that much stuff, to be fair, so... That's fine. And now we should be good on food, right? Yeah, because I ate... Uh... Something. I don't remember what I ate. Probably a fruit and cheese or something. But we should be good on food now for the long trek through Fezabel Marsh, which is uh, up through Arkland Quag, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it says right in the objective. We gotta head there through Arkland Quag, so let's head that way. But first, maybe we should... Oh, no, we can't fast travel. I was gonna say, but first, maybe we should fast travel to Sherilton so we can turn in those jet black feathers, but that's not gonna be a thing for a little while now. It's I don't been think. a while since you've been back to Fenmont. Don't you want to visit any of your friends? Uh... Yeah, sure. Wait, you didn't make any friends while you were here? I made plenty of friends. It my just, nose was in my it books. Feels like it's been forever since I went to school here. And also, would that be a good idea? Because wouldn't they report me to the military, since I am still Fenmont's most wanted? That plot point did not get dropped just because we're 30 hours away from it, guys. It, it's not... It's, it's still a thing. <laughs> uh, do I use the... No, I don't think I do. I'll just... Let the food do its thing, honestly. Uh, we might as well orb up, I guess, since we've gained... Well, Jude hasn't gained any levels, but everybody else gained their level to 41, so might as well let Jude... Or not Jude, everybody catch up to Jude, basically. Get life up and mind up. Again, their chances of happening are very low, but the effect is pretty solid. It gives you just a permanent boost to your HP and TP, so... I like it. Uh, variable trigger for you, for sure because that's going right in your uh, slot of arts alongside Squall Shot. <laughs> and I guess I'll get Extended Window because it's right here. As for Rowan, life up and mind up, please. Get those equipped shortly. And then what else are we getting? Uh, Spectral Purge, I don't really care for. Casting Window's pretty nice, though, and then Heal Share Plus. And Tightening Chains, I also don't really care for. So, uh, I guess... Because we can't get both of these at the moment. So I guess we'll just go down the line here. Extra TP will never hurt Rowan, so... I'll get Spectral Purge anyway, even though I don't need it. And then we'll work our way up. Elise, we'll get this for you. Now everybody's got this, uh, or should at least, have the same amount of SP once we're done with this. And then we'll start getting 4 GP again, because we're lower on our list of stuff here. Oh, okay. I was like doing that absent-mindedly, but we can get Tipo Quake and Tipo Squash for you right now, Elise, so that means maybe I'll actually consider using you a little bit more in battle now. <laughs> because now you've got a couple of your extra martial arts, so you can, if the enemies get on top of you, you can just blast them off of you. Alright, Mila, what were you getting? Uh, Condemnation, that's pretty good. Thunder Blades, also pretty good. I'll just get both of those for you. Because both of those are things that I'd actually want you using in battle, so we'll get that for you. As for Leia, uh, she's not leveled up yet because she was 41 already when we did it last time. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, just keep that on, Alvin, because, I mean, honestly, we're probably going to use it <laughs> quite a bit. So, uh, as a matter of fact, I may actually uh, switch to using Alvin for a little bit on the way to the marsh, so... Uh, you don't need that, though. That's not really going to do us a whole lot of good. Uh, Meteoric Waltz, though. Okay, it's almost at 400, and once we have that, Rowan can kind of take a back seat a little bit compared to everybody else, so. I think we're good for all of that stuff. I probably should, though, when Elise is auto, I should probably turn off this stuff because I mostly just want her casting, so. If I mostly want her just casting as an auto character, I should probably turn off all of her physical arts, you know, that doesn't really... They don't really do a whole lot for her because those will make her want to walk up on enemies, you know. So now if she has them off, she'll maybe walk up on them occasionally, but she'll probably negative gate instead. 
Although I guess I could give her... Well, no, because I do want her to work on some of these so that they get uh, their uses up. So, And just to ensure that they get their uses up, uh, I was going to say I'll switch to Elise, but maybe I'll actually play Alvin first for a little bit. Um, no, I'll play as Elise for a little bit, actually. I want to kind of do a little bit of experimenting around with her warrior skill, I think. Oop, I bumped the mic stand, my bad. Life up, mind up. Uh, let's see. Increased attack power, increased movement speed by 25%. So she gets dash as well if you set Tebow to off. Now let me just check uh, morale support. Tebow will always be set to on in battle. See, when she's auto, I want this on. But when she's not auto, I guess I, it's at the bottom, so I can just turn it off pretty easily. Um, and then we can equip Warrior and Warrior 2. Those won't help her when she's on auto, but, you know... They will help her when she's not. All right, life up, mind up for everybody. You've already got it. There you go. And we're good. All right, Elise, let's try this out, and we'll see what we can do about this. I'm actually also going to swap your martial arts over to here and swap your casting arts here instead of uh, the other way. So uh, do I want healer here? Let me think about what other arts I'm going to use here. I mean, negative gate can go there, that's fine. Uh, no, actually, I know why I stuck them over there now, because I'm going to stick her arcane art over here, and that's a casting skill, so I guess we will stick, uh, keep her martial arts here. So Pow Hammer can go there. Um, Tipo Quake can go down here. Tipo Roar goes here. And then what else did we have? Tipo Squash, that's what we had. So let's stick that there for now. And although, I guess I could stick it where Dispel is instead of Dispel. But that's where I have Recovery Ring, so maybe not. I just don't like putting stuff on up on the left stick, because sometimes then it makes me jump. And with Elise, she doesn't exactly have the agility to land well when that happens. So I'll stick it here. How about that? And then uh, we'll see how that works for her. Okay, so I think we're good for now. We'll uh, see how this works. Advanced Channeler, Veteran self sword, Tactical Expert, and Greater Spirit. Cool. All right, so let's save. We've got all of our stuff ready to go, and now we'll head into the Quag. As long as we don't see the sire of the Quag there, I think we'll be okay. But what awaits us in the Arkland Quag? It doesn't look as quaggy as I was figuring it was going to, at least not from here. But let's go see. Human history. I there are that humans toads have in there, though, I can see. Tadpole enemies. The Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. For someone who doesn't meddle in human business, you sure seem to know a lot about our history. I read a book about recent human history while I was convalescing in Laurent. Hmm. You read it in a book? Guess Jude's not the only honor student. I mean, she didn't really have anything else to do. Humans haven't changed one bit since ancient times. And I suppose your impression of ancient times also comes from a book. Did you say something? Hmm? Oh, I just said that uh, as long as humans never change, we mercenaries will never go hungry. Uh-huh. Wouldn't her impression of humans be from her actual impressions, like experiences, because she's Maxwell, so she's been around for eons? Wouldn't she have seen all of human history? At least, jointly? Mastering the staff. Oh, that's some fine staffmanship. I'm still learning. I won't quit training till it's an extension of my body. Your dedication to your art is admirable. It puts mine to shame. Oh, I, I think that's why you that. have so many extra arts, now, Mila, so that you don't have to be dedicated to some you. specific arts Whatever, like Leia does. Psyched. Uh, my head. Oh. See? What did I just tell you? No, it really hurts. Well, that's You'll why we have fine. healer. Here, I'll take care of it for you. Hmm. Leia truly handles her staff well, but Jude handles Leia even better. I feel like that could be taken out of context, Mila. Let's let's not do that today. <laughs> All right, so this is surprisingly cheerful music considering we're marching off to war basically. Let's do the same thing we always do. We'll look for all the treasures and look for the uh, 
holes in the wall. Might be a little hard to see here because of the nighttime climate. The spirit climb. Okay, here's one. So we'll just do that. Go from there. Red chamomile. I should probably use all of those before I, you know, stop thinking about them again and then I don't use them until next time. You have over 500 psych at this point, Elise. It's almost at 600. That is scary. Uh, Alvin has a very similar attack stat, so that's cool. And then red chamomile for Rowan's over 500 intelligence as well, because why not? I think Elise is doing pretty good on her intelligence as well. 470-something is pretty solid for negative gate spamming. But I gotta remember that I'm using Elise now, so it might take a little bit of uh, getting used to, at least for now. And also that I can set Tipo to I'm off with the pond, so. I hate being puffy and wet. Tipo's swelling from all the moisture. Well, good. Now he can squash things easier. The decisive type. Hmm. Many of the provisions we packed are nearing their expiration date. You sure do sweat the little things. I'm surprised you could handle being a tactician. It is a tactician's duty to consider and prepare for every possible complication. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that why bring enduring he was a tactician? Because he looks over everything? True that a moment's hesitation can lead to a lifetime of regret? Someone it was is, reading her proverb book. Which is why a leader must make snap decisions without hesitation. Then I shall make the call. We will continue to eat the provisions until two months past the expiration date. Yes, I don't ma'am. think that's that about her. healthy. That she can cut through all your worries in an instant. <laughs> Are we talking about the way I feel about her, or the way you do? I think he's got your number, dude. <laughs> okay. So this is actually a surprisingly small adventure field, considering what we've been dealing with previously, so... It might actually make looking for stuff pretty simple. Like, there might only be one more cave, if that many. Yep, here's the one more cave right here. So let me go grab this, and then we'll walk out and we'll do some encounter linking so I can figure out which food item I ate that has four battles left on it. And this is a treat. All right. I should probably start using those since we're starting to get more of them. Yeah, I'll do it later. Like switch my uh, quote unquote item gambits so that I use treats instead of something else. Alright, both of you uh, get comfortable with each other. Oh, I didn't get the super thing. Alright, so first of all, uh, I should probably... Oh, you know what? I know why. Because I'm not holding anything down myself. So. Uh, that's not the taunt button. That's the taunt button. There we go. Go ahead, get in there, Elise. Uh, maybe I should mirage us all the way from well the other way, Elise. Nice one. Keep on roar! I shall provide support. But yeah, see how much better it works when she's got that, uh... When, she, when she's got, uh, warrior equipped? An obvious outcome. Sorry, there will be some growing pains with Elise because I have never played her before. <laughs> okay, I ate a small fruit and cheese, got it. So L1 down in R1 is where I have negative. Oh, and now it's okay. raining. I'm gonna get all mushy. Oh yeah, I didn't use Tipo Squash in that fight. We should check that out. Uh, first of all, do that. There we go. That should pull them all together. Although not that much because you know, we uh, we don't have Tipo on. Rage on my Ready? Got it. Demonic chaos! Okay. 
Which one did I set? Okay, it is right on the stick. It just has some ending lag on it. Tipo Squash is just such a silly art to me. I don't, I don't know why. It's just dumb looking. Because it just does this. And you can kind of spam it, too. That's the other thing about it. It's kind of interesting. It has a little bit of ending lag on it, but... Good job, Rowan. Here's your reward. Because, like, see, I, I mean, I was spamming it a little bit there, but I didn't lose a terribly large amount of TP in the process, so... But, yeah, the combo for Elise, if she's using martial arts now, is essentially Tipo Roar into Tipo Quake into Spam Tipo Squash until they die. So, that's the gist. Oh, okay. I did the wrong thing there. No okay. brakes, try to be merciful. Uh, L1 down R1. There. You owe me. Sorry, it took me a second. Uh, whenever you want to guard on that, at least. There we go. Stay on guard. Bonk. 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 One step ahead. Just just get the bonk hammer out, Elise. I know Pow Hammer's normally the bonk hammer, but we can use Tipo Squash for that instead. <laughs> like, with Warrior as well, it just kind of makes it silly, the amount of damage that she can inflict with it, so... Okay. Maybe, I should, maybe I should go heal. Uh, everybody protect me! I need to heal us! Okay, there we go. And also, she's got basically got dash going as well, like Jude has, so... So all of the above end up really helping her uh, physical game. Of course, I'm gonna have to remember to taunt again to put Tipo back on. Well, I guess I could just stick uh, morale support on her when I start doing that. Like, when I give her back auto control. Alright, so you two together. I think that one, well, it's off by itself, so I'm not going to fight it by itself. I was going to say, it might have respawned from the other one, but... Okay. So you come over here. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to wait a second. I was going to hit him up while he was not looking at me, but this is fine, too. L1 down R1. There we go. Just start that now while I'm all the way back here. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Get out of here. Oh my god, I actually jumped over that. I didn't even think about that. I must not be hitting the timing correctly on that yet. Uh, there's, there's a way where basically you can... Uh, Use Tipo Squash immediately after you do other arts, but... Like, there. It might be art usage, though. Like, I just don't have enough uh, art usage to be able to use it more. So, like, use it more effectively where there's less ending lag on it. Because now that I have Warrior and Warrior 2 on, it should be making an effect on it. But... It, uh, yeah, like I said, Tebow Squash is just one of those arts. It's just silly to me, and it just it's one of those that I'll probably spam quite a bit <laughs> as a result. Like, Tebow Roar and Tebow Squash both, for me, are pretty great. Tebow Quake will get the wake up on that. What's the um, art usage on those before they end up fully done? Pow Hammer's done. Tebow Roar is 100 uses. Tebow Quake is 200. Okay, so it's not a wake up yet. You need to use it 200 times in order for it to become a wake up, and it has an extra hit on it. And then Tebow Squash, I think, I only have it set in my notes to get an additional size. Like, Tebow is larger and deals damage in a wider area at 100 and 200 uses, but I think it goes up even further than that. Like, I think he keeps going until it's at, like, 1,000 uses, and he's just, like... The size of Jude's beast at that point. Although I think he might even be there right now, honestly, considering how large he is. It seems just so appropriate, though, to be using him for that effect because, like, that's what he's swelling up from all the moisture in the qua qua in the quag here. So we might as well use him for that effect while he's swelling up. Why wouldn't I, you know? 
Okay, tried to backstep there when I shouldn't have. Uh, I was gonna say, use it again at least, so we can get those extra uses out of it. There. Uh, maybe I should hit this guy right here. You, you stop that right now, sir. Now bonk him again. Okay, don't bonk him again. That's fine. Bonk these guys instead. There. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Okay, everybody stand in this. It's really just me and Rowan, honestly, though. Oh, oh good, they're using my favorite move. Aw. They blasted them, him out of my Tipo roar. Oh, well. I didn't eat anything either. Let's go do that. But what do I eat? Uh. Uh, same thing as always, fruit and cheese. <laughs> I shouldn't even have to ask that question at this point. I probably should have eaten the curl cap parfait, though, so that everybody could get back to tip-top shape. But I suppose I could do that myself, just by, you know, doing this and then, uh, doing this. So, there you go. Nice and easy, and now we'll get all that TP back from the spirit symbols and stuff. So, very good, very good. All right. Uh, so there's probably at least one more area before we make it to Fezabel Marsh, because this is the central region, the other one was south, so. Or southeast, I wasn't honestly paying that much attention, but there's one more. Because usually when they have a central region, there's like a north or a south, or a more cardinal direction than central. And then you make it to the next area. Looks so. like ominous clouds are gathering up. My old Great! Well, that was going to be a fun little reference, but it didn't end up being because I had to slow down on the everything else. Uh, I was, thanks, Rowan, for intercepting that, but you didn't have to do that. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like there's a little bit of um, ending lag on some of Elise's moves for right now that I'm not I'm not used to it though but I think I'm not used to it because I'm so used to using like Alvin and Jude who just don't have to deal with that anymore because their agility and dash just protect them from that although I suppose if I was really concerned about that I could just have Jude link with or Elise link with Jude and then that would just solve the whole problem now wouldn't it anyway there's the heavy rain reference all right we'll try going this way instead Love how they've started giving me Whisperweed. That's fantastic. Thanks, guys. Excuse me. Let's hope I don't need it like I needed the Whisperweed in Final Fantasy IV. Or this might be a bad day. Alright, so here's the first hole. I almost just missed it. It's a good thing whatever was following me, the, the Sahagin there, wasn't a faster enemy. Because that would have probably not worked out for me. Like when I was trying to open the chest and failing. Another Eifried's treasure, another mysterious jewel. Once again, I think there's t either 22 or 23 of those. We've got 12 so far. If you get all of them, you unlock a bonus boss in the... There's a temple that was near Canbalar that we didn't go to, and there's a uh, boss that you unlock there. I probably won't be unlocking it, to be honest, but it's there. I think you fight it, can fight it again in the second game, though, so that's, that's going to be my excuse as to why I'm not fighting. I'm just gonna wait till the second. Okay, second game. I didn't realize you were that close. Alright, hold this this way. There we go. Then we'll run in. What, uh. So you just have Pow Hammer to go with Rowan Huff right now. I mean, I'll do that, but. Not exactly the skill that I care about. Well, that's the wrong one, but I guess we get healing circle if everybody's gonna protect me long enough. Uh, let's see. Do one of those up. There we go. Get in there. Don't even think about it. Oh, you have whirlwind snap on. We don't need that either, Jude, so don't worry about that part. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Turn on off. There we go. 
Although I suppose I could set Sunspark with him, and then he could just do as much of the, like, ranged healing as everybody else does, so. I think I'm gonna swap over to Judas as his partner, though, because then I can get the Link Arts with, uh, Tipo Roar, so. Bonk. I was too close for Bonk. You can count on me! I also just love the sound effect on Tipo Squash as well, where it's just like a water droplet and then just a smashing sound. <laughs> I don't know, that just appeals to me in a very... My brain is still 12 years old sort of a way, you know. Okay, well we're getting a little bit of money out of all this too. I think I saw... Did I see a hole over here? No, I didn't. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, those frogs catch up to you pretty quick. Surprising, considering they have to keep stopping every time they lunge towards you. Okay, come here, frog. Froggy! No, not that kind of frog. And that's a terrible John St. John impression, so why would I ever do it? I don't know. Just, just because, I suppose. I feel like that might be activating somebody's PTSD, though, because from what I understand, not a lot of people liked the fishing minigame in Sonic Adventure 1. I never really minded it myself. As I mentioned in the playthrough that I did, but... Okay, pull all those guys together. And off we go. I'll wait for my stuff to recharge. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, like, there's some ending lag on that there when I, I'll do the quake. And then I can't immediately squash afterwards. So. Maybe it's because I'm not using it as a wake-up yet. Like, it can't be used as a wake-up yet. So. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure Elise out. So if you hear me rambling in the background, <laughs> that's all it is. It's me figuring Elise out. So... And trying to use Tipo Quake as much as humanly possible so that I get the 200 uses out of it. That seems excessive, honestly, but I suppose it is a really good effect, so... But yeah, I should probably let uh, Leia and Mila into the party now. Uh, you, Leia. I'll wait for them. And then Jude for Mila. We can do this! Okay. Maybe, okay. Well, I was gonna say maybe I can Tipo Quake to finish this up, but there's a there's a dude that's currently eating me, so that's not really gonna happen. Bonk. Bonk. Well, that didn't break his guard. Must not have enough uh, stuff for that yet. Okay. I'm gonna back up. Oh, these guys backed up too. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Today. Go after someone else. I need to heal. <laughs> All right, now we can continue. Thank you, Leia. That should help a little bit. Okay, so she has less ending lag on her regular attacks as well when she's uh, in warrior mode, so... I'll keep that in mind. Okay, there. I pulled you two into the party. And now... Um, what was I going to do just now? Eat something. That's what I was going to do. So, still doing pretty good. I might try a tofu cracker and just see how that works with the spirit symbols, honestly. Like, we might not need the fruit and cheese as much if we use the, uh, you know, if we're using the spirit symbols. So, we'll see. But now we just clear everything else out and then we can move along. And the enemies here are separated by this little lake, so it's going to be a little tougher to get them linked up unless I do them all on the same side of the lake. So. Alright, L1 down R1. There, now I'm getting it. I guess we'll get these guys. And then while they're doing that, we'll go after these guys. Here we go, Rowan! Oh, 
Yeah, there's some ending lag on Tipo Quake at the moment, which is probably why it's a little bit of a pain to raise for now. But I guess it does massive amounts of damage, so I shouldn't really complain that hard. Oh, nice. Thank you, Pal Hammer. Very nice of you. And also thank you, Alvin, for breaking all of their guards. Bonk. Sorry, I just get so used to when they're in a big group, like, I just... I start using Tipo Squash and then I can't stop myself anymore. Good job, Rowan. Here's your reward. Okay, so we can kind of make it work with just the crackers, but we're going to be missing a little bit of HP and TP at the end of each fight if we just make it work with those. So, got it. I'll keep that in mind because that means fruit and cheese is probably still the way to go. Um, do I feel like fighting all of these guys? Not really. Let's just pull these guys in and then. Uh, go from there. I'll probably just go up from here and then we'll go from there. Like, I'll go fight these guys and then a couple of the other guys that are close by and then after that I'll go. I will But yeah, linking a Jude will probably help Elise out because again, Dash is, as far as I know, a shared skill. So. Yeah, it feels like she's a little quicker. That's good. Bonk. Do it again. Uh, I guess I might as well Mirage Assault while I'm at it. And then, and then do it again. So that Jude and I can smack things. And then maybe we can... Okay. I was going to say, if they live, we can Pixie heal. Although I have Healing Circle set rather than... Pixie Circle, so I'd have to use something else to do that. Oh well. Okay, so you're the powerful enemy. Can I encounter Link a powerful enemy? How does that work? Let's find out. Uh, yes, you can, in fact, encounter Link a powerful enemy. So there we go. Uh, yeah, aim after that guy. And then let's uh, move Jude and play at right. And then Alvin and uh, uh, Don't uh, get all over me for not using it. Boom. Oh, I'm not linked with anybody. I should probably do that. I'm starting to wonder if my family can uh, is going to be okay with this dog. <laughs> Upstairs at the moment. Oh good, she's using Swallow Flight. That's good. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, and I have an Elemental Impulse. That's why I'm doing all this extra damage, because the non-elemental attacks are now Fire Elements. That's good. Uh, maybe I should get out of here before they slam into me. There. Oh good, hit a whole bunch of them with that one. I should probably also heal myself in a second. I gotta get out of here though if I want to do that, so... And Mila also has some kind of debilitation, so I should probably do something about that as well. Uh, Rowan, can you keep him busy so he's not just whacking me upside the head? I guess I could do it too, I just do it like this, and then do it. Now, because we don't have Tipo on currently, uh, that will not prevent Mila from taking any additional statuses, but will at the very least heal. So. Okay, so. Try this again. Nope. Getting the additional stun chance as well from all of this extra uh, stuff. Oh, sorry, Rowan. I kind of knocked him out of your air pressure there. My bad. Yeah, did you see how spammable that is? It's pretty ridiculous. 
All right. Now, I think we move ahead. I think we move on up here. Yeah, northwest region. So this might take us directly to Fezabel Marsh after this. Uh, yes, and there is, in fact, an item vendor there, so that should make our job a little bit easier. And just like that, we're at war? Yes. And with tens of thousands of soldiers on either side, it looks to be a massive one. Are we sure we can handle this, gang? This seems like a lot for us to just all of a sudden be inserting our noses into, considering we <laughs> just kind of killed the king of one side of the battlefield. Hopefully that doesn't mean we're going to have to kill Gaius, too, because that would probably be a little problematic. I mean, I guess it would give the armies something, a common cause to fight against, but I don't think I want all that extra... <laughs> attention on myself. Oh, good syrup bottles that I never use. I don't know, their effect is good, but when you have this spell, it just seems like you don't really need it all that much. I did that thing with the uh, chest again where I went past it and didn't realize I... I pressed it and I went past it. Like, I pressed the button to open it and I went past it instead of mashing the button. I must need to double tap in some cases, because otherwise I'll just go past the chest. I mean, it's not like you guys have much choice. Yeah, I know. That's fair. <laughs> We, we've gotten ourselves into this war, so now it's like either we get everyone out of it or we all kind of die. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, won't, that won't really work out if we just decide to desert or something at this point, will it? Counterpoint, use Syrup Bottles for status conditions so you cannot have to use TP or cast time on Dispel. That's a Syrup Bottles work, right? They're just status guard? Yeah. So the, on one character at a time, they will prevent statuses from happening for, I think it's like 30 seconds, so... You could use them for that effect. I like them better in the second game because there's a skill, and I've talked about it before when I was talking about Leia. There's a skill that you can get for Leia which lets her use an item on all allies, except it has reduced potency. The potency reduction, as far as I'm aware, does not affect Syrup Bottle's time protecting you from statuses, so she can use a Syrup Bottle with that skill on and it will basically allow her to give everybody a Dispel, except, like, a pr the preemptive effect of Dispel, where it prevents status conditions for 30 seconds. So, she could just use that, and then you don't have to worry about status conditions for 30 seconds, then have her use it again, and repeat until you don't need to worry about statuses anymore. We can win this! Always be on alert. Yes, I can pull them in a little bit here. It doesn't work yet. Uh, Rowan, don't go anywhere. I need to heal you before we get going here. There we go. Let me try that one again. There we go. Yeah, the frame drops are eating my inputs. That's okay. Run, Elise, run. I'll do it again. Yeah, that's fine, you guys use that. It's not like I need it at the moment, so. The reason, by the way, of course, why Tipo Squash is doing such an enormous amount of damage is because of the warrior skill, where it increases her damage with them by 50%, so. Yeah, that will uh, make a huge difference in terms of Elise's damage output. <laughs> Okay, so, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, five, okay. Let me see if I can triple link these guys, see how bad a triple link ends up being. Uh, it isn't a super preemptive strike though, so I suppose it'll probably be a little worse than it could be. But, it's fine. There. there. Of, okay, don't do a couple of squashes then. I love how he was just standing there so nicely for me. Like, uh, I don't need to attack you right now. That was a crit. 3,000 damage. I need to get out of here. But I might only be able to beat my way out of this. 
predicament that I found myself in, so. Okay. At least we can catch a couple of them with Pico Roar and that'll work pretty good. Those large uh, bubbles look like they're gonna be a little problematic, but I guess they're not bothering us too badly. Okay, while you guys do that, let me uh, get this going. Alright, keep me safe there. That'll work. It's gonna get hit, but you know. Uh, you know, I'll get this guy actually. There. So triple links do work okay here. Not a huge deal. They're just about what I'd expect. Oh, that's why I was getting back so little because I was getting. Uh, I still have the tofu crackers on rather than a fruit and cheese. Fair enough. All right then. Um, do that. And then. Uh, okay, so we have you. Who am I going to link you up? I guess this is a Hagen. Can do that. If they will get close enough. They're both kind of slow, so it might take a little bit for them to, you know, Spider-Man meme each other. <laughs> Alright, wait. Then here. Oh, okay, I must have touched the, uh, the vine there. That's okay, we'll make it work. Uh, let's hit this guy here. Okay. And then before I get the link going, we can kind of hit the ones that are in the group together. Uh, also, there's a guy behind me, so maybe I should get the hell away from that. Dash is very useful with Warrior. I mean, we knew that already, but, you yeah. know. Thanks, dude. Uh, I should, yeah, probably get that. It's over. It's over. Time to go to work. But of course. Okay. Got whacked. Not gonna get off the attack if I get smacked in the face. Okay. And that should take care of that. At the very least, by doing this, I might be able to access those other couple of titles where we get uh, the Jude Hart Elise one and the. Alvin Hart Rowan one, so. I can hear her whining upstairs. I am dreading what is happening there. Devil Tail, but I don't know. Okay, everybody get this moving. There. And then we'll hit this guy that's coming up on us. What else do you two have together anyway? Do you just have Pixie Heal and Tifo uh, Enraged for now? Probably. I think the only problem right now with Tifo Enraged though is that it's... You have to go... it sends them so far away, so unless they're against the wall like this, it's kind of hard to use Tifo Enraged effectively. I suppose that works too though. The way that we used it there, where I just sort of used it keep over already kill the enemy and then uh, went from there. Okay. And that takes care of that. There's always room for improvement. So if Rowan leveled up, does that mean everybody else leveled up as well? Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're at 42 for everybody now. That's cool. I think I might fight... Uh, well, I'm going to go grab this little treasure glint that I missed. Everyone. I think we need that for a side quest at some point here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go fight the guys that are down there, but I'll see in a little bit here. Oh good, I caught everybody with that. Very nice. That should make people roaring pretty effective to... Okay, not mind because... They knocked me around, so it's going to be a little hard to use it properly if that's what we do. Okay. 
That's it, just stand there with a bunch of ending lag on your moves, because that will make my job a lot easier. I feel like I keep getting my inputs uh, eaten from the frame drops. I mean, it happens, you know, like, whatever. It's, that's how this game is sometimes. It's, it's ambitious in terms of what it does with all of the effects, you know, so. But okay. Uh, Jude here, why don't we, uh... Because he was getting a little too close for comfort there, Jude. There wasn't much I could do. Okay, now we can cast this. Rowan, stay here. I didn't have an extended window, or that would have worked out. Maybe it'll... Okay, so I was going to say, maybe it'll work out here, but it won't work out here because they're all dead. <laughs> Yeah, absolute chaos has descended upon the upstairs in my house right now. I can I can hear her. <laughs> they have stuck her in a room. Uh, I mean, I don't know the context, so I can't really tell them what to do. But oh my god! Okay, we still got the preemptive strike. They kind of <laughs> messed me up there a little bit from the directions that they all went in. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I, was say, I don't know if that pow hammer is actually going to do a whole lot, but no, it's there. Okay, got them both. Good. And I suppose I could also, uh, you know, link up with Alvin because that's something that we haven't really done a whole lot of yet. So, with the least, that is. So. Uh, Jude, are you okay? You're kind of letting him whack you in the face there. I don't actually know what uh, Alvin and Elise have for link arts, though, so I'd have to take a look. Uh, let's see. Pow Blade. Pow Blade. Uh, and then Tipo Spray with Variable Trigger makes Tipo Cannon. Okay. Well, uh, we'll figure that out later. For now... Okay, we made it with the extra agility from Jude and Dash to get uh, to using Tipo and Rage without it whiffing, which is the concern that I have usually when using it, is, is it going to whiff? Uh, maybe I shouldn't do this right here. Ah, no, they're kind of keeping everybody pretty well busy, so should work out okay. well. Okay. Let's keep this and we got him. We go. We're starting to get more experience now from the double encounters I than we were getting from down. the old Vakal mine as well, which is a good thing, I think, because that means that uh, we should be able to um, use that for some halfway decent uh, level ups. We'll still probably go to the old Macal mine at one point. Like, I'll probably be like, okay, well, time for a few side quests. Probably right when the uh, game is starting to end, but, you know. At that point, though, I'm not sure if going there would be such a good idea because, well, well we need to, you know. Okay. Jude, thanks for protecting me from this guy with your body. Right. Okay, I mean, that works too, I guess. Alright. Yeah. Now for you. Uh, get yeah, away from this guy over there. And then keep whacking him upside the head. For defeating you. And taking your items. That's just spoils of war. I just love the look on Jude's face there. I don't know how well that's showing up on this on the stream because of the pixelated it's more pixelated there, but like his his mouth is just like turned down like he's giving you a uh, colon slash emote on uh, in a text-based situation. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that silly, I guess. Okay, a peddler. So let's see what we can do with the peddler. Uh, do I have any items that I'm missing? I haven't really been missing a whole lot. We've I think we used a couple of items in the process of getting here. Also, here's all the items that I was talking about where you can buy the base... Uh, 
stat boosters, although they're 40,000 a pop for some of them and 30,000 for the other ones. So that's a little on the pricey side. I probably wouldn't bother, but they're there if you want them. Uh, excuse me. Let's see, get rid of the beads and the fluid. And then, do we expand the shops now? We're all at 42 now, right? Let me just check here real quick. Okay, and Jude's at 43. All right, that's fine. Uh, let me swap, actually, between... We'll put Alvin in front for a couple of minutes here. Well, do we need to? I don't know. Maybe I'd actually feel better having Jude in front for now. Although we're probably going to swap back to Rowan if we get into another boss fight before the end of the marsh. I don't remember how large the marsh is, but I think now that we're done with the quag, it's mostly like, okay, now we just go straight to the boss fights, but... I could be wrong about that. Uh, everybody else is 42 still, and Elise is the closest one to actually overtaking uh, Jude in terms of level now. So she's she's getting ahead of uh, Leia, which I guess makes sense. She's younger than everybody else, so she'd start leveling up faster. Perhaps. Um, what do I want to do here? So I want a Lilium Orb. We can expand the shops a little bit. I'll just do up to 42, I think and uh, refill our food supplies, and then we can go from there. I should probably get rid of that croquette bun. We have a parfait, so if I want croquette, I'll just have the parfait instead of the, the rest, you know? I have the beef bowl still, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we will sell this. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's up here with all the HP restoring items, yeah. I don't know if I'm ever going to need these sandwiches, though. Like, mostly the fruit and cheese has been doing that job. Maybe this is the stuff that Rowan said get rid of because it's starting to get to the expiration date point. Um, and the pudding cakes, honestly, I might get rid of as well. Like, the 50% are nice on the TP because we can heal the HP off, but... I'm going to get rid of all of our old, old stuff. I don't know that we'll need them that badly. We've been doing well on fruit and cheese and beef bowl and spicy chicken rolls since we've basically gained access to them, so I don't think we'll really need to do too much there. As for these, um, let's see. We got some iron sand from somewhere. I guess I can get rid of some of these geodes as well while I'm at it. Uh, maybe turn some of these down. We'll get rid of eight of both. How about that? It'll take us a little bit higher than the minimum for 42, but that's okay. Now it's not maxed out, so if I get any more of them, it's not like I'm like, oh, I can't carry anymore fish materials here. Oh, we're already at 42 on this one. Okay, then we won't donate for now. And bird materials on this one. I was going to say, finally, we can use some of those pearls and stuff we've got, but I suppose we have just as many other materials, don't we? <laughs> to just blast through in terms of using them to upgrade the shops. Okay, Mithril Guard's available now. But we shouldn't be too concerned about that, I don't think, at the moment. Alright, we have... What does it say for South region of Bezabel Marsh. Okay, so there might be some fighting along the way. We'll see how it goes. Gonna orb up again. I know I've already done this at least twice today, but we've got quite a few points to use, so I might as well. Especially since now everybody can fill out this bottom section. Extended window, dragon shot, and then we can move to the top here. Assault 3? Eh, not really concerned about that. We're doing well with just the 6 AC, so I'll probably stick to that. The more characters you link in a single battle, the more EXP you'll receive at the end of it. I feel like that would just unbalance the party, but it's probably a good way to get to level 99, so. This one's pretty nice, though, once you start getting to the later points in the game and you can inflict a lot of status ailments, is Advantageous Assault, because you get back extra TP if you hit an enemy that has a status ailment on them, so I'll probably grab that. Uh, Light Guard's also pretty good, and then there's Savage Roar for Jude, which is his arcane art. Snap Pivot, so there's one named after his... Thing. A successful guard five seconds after a backstep will allow you to step around the enemy. So that basically just lets you say, okay, so you know how you just got impregnable guard? Now if you snap pivot once, just risk a little bit, we'll reward you by letting you just guard things. <laughs> so how about we start here? So what will Jude get that everybody else won't? Probably Savage Roar will be the thing that he gets because everybody else will stop here-ish. So unless I prioritize their arcane arts... I don't think they'll get that, but he does get Light Guard, so that's kind of nice, too. There's Savage Roar. 
And I forget if that unlocks the... I think there's a skill that you need to equip in order to use the Mystic Art. Or maybe you just use Savage Roar and that does it. I'm not sure. Okay, so Jude will get this entire section done and he can start working on Tier 3, which is TP Surge. I don't get KO'd that much. Over Limit. Eh. Snap Pivot 2. Increased duration. Activate Snap Pivot after a back step by 3 seconds. Interesting. HP Surge. Mirage Blitz. It's another wind skill. Or no, it's not wind. Never mind. Whirlwind Snap is the wind one. But it, uh, you spin, basically, and then you hit the enemy. If you're in the air, you don't hit the enemy. You just spin. So, And then combos with linked arts will increase over limit duration by one second. Valid only once per combo. Eh, none of these are all that good, honestly. I probably would prioritize Snap Pivot 2 out of all of them. So I guess that's what we'll do. Um, do I do Vitality? Yeah, it hits lower than his strength, so I'll do Vitality first. Okay, now for everybody else who won't get nearly as much stuff as Jude just got. Alright, Heal Shirt Plus, Dragon Swarm. Hellfriar's here for you. This is Alvin's Arcane Art, and it's kind of weird, because it sends him airborne, but it also flattens the enemy that it's used on. Kind of similar to Beast, where Beast will have very high guard break and can flatten the enemy if you... Although I don't know if it's considered flattened for Beast, or if that's just considered a knockdown with a large effect on it. Um, but Hellfriar flattens enemies. Like, you'll hit them with the first hit, and they'll... I forget if it stands them up on the first hit and then knocks them down on the second one, but it drops them directly at Alvin's feet while sending him into the air. So it's a little oddball. I don't really know how to feel about it, but it can be used to some great effect if an enemy is really giving you trouble and not uh, getting on the ground. So, Attack conversion, decreased art attack by 25% and physical attack by 25%. I guess that might not be bad for him. It would make Demon Fang and his... Actually, no, it would be bad for him because his Demon Fang and his gun skills would not be as good. But I can get Hellfryer and Light Guard for him at the moment, so let's grab both. And then we can add that to his list of arts that he's using. And go from there. And also add Light Guard, obviously, because I... I don't know if I need that for any of the fights coming up, but then we'll have all six. So then it's like, okay, well, we've all got 60% resistance. As for Rowan, Tidal Waves there. Charismatic Stance. Avoid staggering for four seconds after performing a taunt. You don't really taunt that much. Uh, Link Brigade. Advantageous Assault. Light Guard. So I guess Light Guard and uh, Advantageous Assault. Okay, and now we'll add that. Uh, what else do we have here? For Elise, casting window, he'll, sh he'll share plus. Auto medicine, 15% chance of recovering HP when receiving damage. <laughs> That's not bad. And then she gets Ignite Terror as her arcane art. It's, um, I guess it's a preview into what Divine Streak will look like when, he, when we get it, because it's basically a dark version of Divine Streak, so... See, she's got halfway decent stuff on this one. Like, four out of her six are pretty good. Do I get Light Guard for her? I guess we don't need it that badly. Let's get her Auto Medicine so that I can equip that, and then we can get Ignite Terror. I don't know how much I'll actually use Ignite Terror, but hey, it's pretty solid for anything weak to darkness because it's just a line AoE, so... All right, for Mila, let's do this. Grab Casting Window, Heal Share Plus. Cloud Pierce is here, Light Guard is here, uh, Advantageous Assault, Link Brigade, Assault 3, and Quick Drop. Uh, that lets you get out of the air if you need to. Uh, I don't really use Mila all that much, so I don't really see it being a thing we need to worry about because the AI doesn't really jump a whole lot, so we'll just leave that and get her Cloud Pierce and Light Guard. What's this one up here? Oh, there's Divine Streak. Okay, so we'll get that for Mila pretty soon. Must be available for Rowan pretty soon, too, because both of them get it, so. Alright, and Leo got Heal. We get Bonus Extension. Elongated Staff will last for three seconds longer. Soul Stoke Spin. Light Guard. Advantageous Assault. Okay, so we'll just get, uh... We'll just get you Soul Stoke Spin and, uh, Light Guard. Soul Stoke Spin has pretty high attack multipliers on it, so it can be pretty useful. I just don't like it because it's kind of similar to Staff Rain for her, where it's you can use it once and it'll activate the enemy 
using their counterattacks, basically. So, like, it has about six or seven hits on it, and then they'll Im almost immediately counter you as soon as you're done using it. So, I don't know, I feel like it it's not a waste, necessarily, of TP to use, because you can use it to combo into or Mystic Art, but... I don't know. I just don't like it as much, I guess. Either way, uh, is, do we need to... I thought there was a special skill that you needed to equip in order to get access to your Mystic Arts, but I could be misremembering. That could be Zillia, too. Well, let's equip Light Guard while we're at it, anyway. And then... Um, snap Pivot. Do I have that in my list of skills for you, Jude? Let's see. Um, yep, Snap Pivot 1 and 2 are in your list of skills. We might not have enough SP for all this stuff now, finally, for once. <laughs> so, that would be fun, I guess. Advantageous Assault. Uh, no, we'll have enough for now. Probably won't in a little while, but we'll get more SP as we go here. And it's probably just because of the uh, our new access to Impregnable Guard that's probably making it a little tough for us to equip everything we might want, you know, so. Uh, what else do we want for Alvin? Probably sustained charge, because I've missed a couple of times and lost my charges, so I don't know if that... Like, I don't know if that means if the enemy hits you, you still maintain it, but I guess we can find out. You've got light and dark guard now, I don't know why I didn't equip that on you. You'd think I would have, considering you fought Noctigal, but... I guess we only got hit by Dark Visitor a couple of times, so... Casting window, I'll probably want that on as well. And I guess I'm going to equip that now. Well, maybe not, honestly. I don't need it right now, so I won't equip it right now. How about that? We'll use it when we need it. Uh, did you... Oh, you didn't get Light Guard yet. Okay, that's fine. Say, did you already get it before? But no, you did not. And since I've stuck you back on Auto, let's take you off of Warrior and Warrior 2. And we will stick you on... Uh, auto Medicine and Morale Support. So that, that way you're in good shape there. Light Guard. Um, anything else I care about for Mila here? I guess Heal Share Plus wouldn't be too bad. But I'll worry about that later. And Leia, Light Guard. And... Um, like, I'm trying to think if I really need Heal Share Plus, though, for everybody, honestly. Like, it gives you lots of HP, but I don't really think it's going to be necessary, especially later when we won't be getting pulses of healing anymore pretty soon, because pretty soon Elise, I think on Tier 4 of her Lilium Orb, uh, the second one, will get access to a, um, a better healing skill that will just replace Healing Circle completely. So, who do I have Heal Share Plus on for right now? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, I took it off. For everybody. So, okay, off we go. Let's save here, and we'll see what we find in Fezabel Marsh. Like I said, I don't remember there being a huge area to explore here. I remember it mostly just being, like, a nice, quick section. Oh, good, there's a skit there that I might have... Okay, no, I didn't miss it. Jude's Growth. We'll do that in a second once it pops back up. If it pops back up. There we go. Watch your backs, everyone. Don't get complacent. Jude has grown into such a prudent young man. Really? Seems like he's been freakishly level-headed since the day he was born. I oh my god. I that. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe he's just, just being prescient. The first time we met. And how you panicked when I trapped you in one of Undine's bubbles. Well, he oh, was going to die. Story. I well, mean... Anyone would freak out if they were suddenly attacked by one of the great spirits. Or if they were work. drowning. I know I'd have been terrified. What? So I'm some sort of monster now? No, you it's tried okay. to drown the poor Maybe kid, you Mila. To cope with difficult situations. So that I sounds like PTSD, grow. Jude. That doesn't well, sound like human absurd. growth. That sounds Jude like PTSD. Sure has gotten good at dealing with Mila. If growing up has taught him anything, it's that. Oh boy. All right, so Fezabel Marsh. Yeah, it's like I said, there's uh, just that little bit here. All right, then. Let's see what everybody says when we go into the camp. See if the soldiers will let Rowan through. Identify yourselves. State your names, ranks, and divisions. Rowan, if you please. 
I am Rowan Ilbert, Chief of Staff, Rashagal Army. The Ilbert? As in the conductor? Correct. Did I stutter? I at once regarding our troop strength and deployment. Yes, sir. Please proceed. All right, then. Cool. So we'll get a sit rep because we have someone who this is feigning his way into the army again. Diagram of the battle by reading signals from the soldiers' lilium orbs. Well, that's useful. So what do we got here? Hey, how come this one looks different? That division is taking part in a special operation, being led by the deputy chief of staff himself. Agriot so that's where the lance is. attempted to block them, but it appears they broke through. Gillen's okay, operation. well, that's both good and bad. Yes, he should arrive at the operation site a little after 1300 hours. We've been given no details, although we hear this operation will turn the tide of battle in one fell swoop. We that's because it will kill all of them and all of you at the same time. That site when the operation commences. Oh. With this route, his You're going to concentrate all of the Correct. soldiers around your weapon of mass destruction that absorbs yes, mana from Precisely. all of them. I should have expected nothing less from the conductor. So they're going to kill all of their own troops anyway like with the lance's heading. mana yes. absorbing properties. He has plans to use the lance of Kresnik. Yet why did he leave his own army in the dark? Do you think we can catch up to them before they use the lance? Wouldn't know. this soldier want to know what the hell we're talking about? I know I'd want to know. Maybe he's not questioning because he's I afraid of he getting reprimanded. I entrusted it to Ivor. Why are we saying this directly in front of a Rashigal soldier? I figured that would be enough to stop anyone from using it. Nevertheless, it has been deployed, and they are likely readying it for use. That can only mean one thing. Either they and built a new key, or Ivor's turned traitor. How is the Azul army marching across the marshes? I don't believe Alvin, where are you going? Arrived. Are you familiar with the boosters that Azul has developed? Uh, vaguely, yes. Hey, quit staring at me like that! I hate being objectified! Mm. The enemy is using them to amplify their mana output and alter the spirit climb in their immediate area. In other words, they use mana to summon vast amounts of earth spirits and force the spirit climb into Renome. They've actually that sounds the simultaneously One only advantageous for their army and also How incredibly stressful. Responded. We too have boosters. So you issued one to every soldier and assigned one man in every squad with the job of altering the spirit climb. Yes, altering sir. the altar? Exactly as you said. That's a right, job then. for us, Elise. No, well, this is you do have turn. the booster. He's an expert in the use of earth arts. Or not. <laughs> we have no time. We must intercept Gillen's division. Yo, but why is this soldier being so, like, level-headed about this idea of, oh, okay, you're intercepting one of, one of our army members. Cool. Um, who's the traitor here, him or you? Like, I'd be questioning any of this. All of this, for that matter. <laughs> If I was that man. Chief Ilbert, there's one thing I should mention about the boosters. We keep hearing rumors that their use leads to a serious side effect. Which is? Like? They say prolonged use saps your strength. You mean it leaches oh. away your very life? And Rowan has very little the of that of left. This effect seems to vary wildly among those afflicted. Just to be safe. I suggest you avoid using the booster for long periods. Well, that's ominous as hell. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I think you know what you need to do here, Rowan, but it's still a self-sacrifice if you do it. Because we don't want to take away from Elise's life. She has so much left to live for. Uh, Alvin, who are you talking to? Well, I think we know after what he just said. Alvin? Jude, you've got a surprisingly adept sense of hearing. And he's surprisingly good at faking you out. Wait, what? But I swear I heard you from over here. Say what? You hit your head or something? 
Making up lies again? Jeez, Elise, give me a break. <laughs> I'll give you a break, all right? You big fat liar! I don't think you, you want the break that they're talking too. about. Come now. Given the circumstances, it's only natural for us to become suspicious when you wander off on your own. We're Just in the middle of a war, Alvin. You have to keep rank. Seriously, promise us. Fine, fine. I know you've never been the kind of person to take marching orders, but you can't march to your, the beat of your own drum in this case. You have to march with us, even though you're still planning on scheming behind their backs. That's great. Rashigal battle plan. The key to Rashigal's strategy is the hill that overlooks the basin where the two armies are fighting. You believe they will set the Lance of Kresnik there? It seems likely. If they haven't already. From there, they can snare the entire enemy army while they're all gathered together. If the Lance of Kresnik truly is a mana-powered weapon, it would be a very advantageous location. But to think Deputy Chief of Staff Gillen could pick out that spot so accurately is quite a surprise. Such a is he a better tactician than you're giving him credit for, or does he have something else? Who won oh. His position by flattering Noctagall. But it hmm. may be time to reassess that opinion. Or maybe he has some help from the outside. Tipo, I know you're concerned, but you don't Look at this giant plant! Wow! Oh. Okay, we just that skipped that. Canopy. And uh, now that's starting to make Elise sound like she has ADHD or something, because we just skipped that anything that was going to happen with Alvin and Tipo there. Side effects. We have to fight hard for everyone's sake. We can do it! Are you feeling well? Huh? Why do you ask? At your age, you should be worrying about yourself. The no, cold does get important. into the old bones faster. If your health changes, please tell me right away. What he probably means is, if you gotta pee, do it before the war breaks out. Probably a good idea, but a little bit on the nose there, Alvin. Certainly no sign of side effects yet. Hmm. Well, we know what he's concerned about, although... I think Mila specifically said, no, it's fine, we'll let Rowan do it, since he has uh, all the access to the Earth Arts here. But maybe he's talking about his own side effects. He's just concerned about Elise's health because... Best coat. Now I'm gonna have to get this cleaned. She's a 12-year-old and we're marching her into battle like a bunch of war criminals. But how bad will the war between Rashigal and Ajul possibly be? Find out on the next episode of Tales of Zillia, the stream edition which will be happening on tomorrow, actually. I was going to say on Saturday, but we're not on Monday yet. So it'll be happening tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I figure we went for a little bit of extra length yesterday, so we'll go for a little bit less today than the three-hour normal. In any case, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream, and I will see all of you on the next one, where it will probably be fighting and more fighting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, as I said. Until then, everybody, take care. And have a good one. You know, I'll bet you there's an Eifried's treasure down there that's just like a parasol or something. Because Lord knows I'm only going to unlock the thing that keeps the rain out after the rain stops.